<laughs> All right. What's up guys, Camro here, and I'm working on my Pokemon game again. This is going to be another live stream. I've got a good amount of things that I want to do tonight that aren't revolving around mapping, so that'll be interesting to get done. So, with that said, let's get into it, I guess. So I did do some uh, dialogue yesterday while I wasn't streaming uh, for the intro. So the intro is now pretty much all written, and I'm pretty happy with that, and I'll show that off a little bit later. But uh, a couple things I want to work on tonight are some wild Pokemon on the roots, as well as some trainers on the roots. And that'll be pretty easy to do, and then maybe once we get that done, we can focus on uh, devising teams for the gym leaders, or I'm calling them head trainers, but it's like, whatever, they're the same idea. Um, let me go and open my PBS files. Um, yeah. Let me also open art list. That's important, because I'm going to be needing to uh, look at that. Let's see. So I want to open trainers. Trainer types and trainers, actually. Oh, they're already open. Is trainer types open? Trainers is open. Nice. All right. What's going on, going on you guys? Mr. McGee, Professor Frankly, well, I spoke too soon. Professor Frankly, don't be such a Debbie Downer. If you say, if you, were you spreading the word that I wasn't going to stream? You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. <laughs> Alright, what's up, you guys? College for a whole week. Oh, yeah. Oh, that sucks. But thank you for letting me know. We'll, uh, we'll have to make tonight extra fun, though, in the time that you're here. Okay. Let's uh, make some trainers. Wow. Copy. Paste. Make that 10. Let's see. Make that 5. Wait, yeah, let me let me read. Let me read Discord. The point. Hey, Sansi, what's up? I've been on for like one minute. How you doing? Wow, 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 wow. Ba doom. Yeah. Try to stop by if you're on a bit earlier in this week. Okay, I might not. Maybe around 8.30 would be the earliest that I do it, but I'm uh, I'm more of a late streamer. But yeah, they'll all be up on YouTube also if you want to check that out. What is this going to be? 35? That's what I was doing. Hello. Trioxy, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? Hello, hello. What's up, mate? Hunter Forsberg, how you doing? What's up? Welcome. Well, what am I working on? I'm working on some trainer stuff. Um, I need to open up a new internet. I, uh, my, my computer had to be restarted, so I have to go and look at, uh, the list of all the Pokemon again. No, I just wanted, I just want to see all the Pokemon. There we go. Add the bond full math on what? Step to five. Oh yeah, I love staying up late. Bond battle. I don't know. I don't even know what that is. Okay. Gothita, Gotharita, Gothitel. So, Gothita. This has to be Gothorita. Gotharita. Hey, what's up, JC's a cool dude and robotic fan. Welcome, and Shifish, how you guys doing? Pokemon Oasis, nice. That sounds like, that. that's a good sounding name for a game. 35, Horsey will become Seedra. Turn off insert, 35. Ozumarill can stay Ozumarill, but be 35. Actually, no, that shouldn't be Ozumarill. Let me consult my sticky notes. That should be whatever Frillish evolves into. <laughs> it's Jellicent. That's what it should be. Let's see. What I missed? Not too much. I just started. I just started. Well, let's see. Azumarill. That should be Jellicent. And then the last Pokemon. I need to think of another good Pokemon to add to her team. 
We were talking about electric, right? Like Emolga? Oh, it was, uh, was Zebstrika. That's what we were going to add. I think that's a good Pokemon to add to it. Cool. Copy. Paste. Make that 11. And instead of Jellicent, that'll be Cubchoo's evolution, which is Bear Tick, I believe. I'm like, there's so many gosh dang Pokemon I'm starting to forget. Yeah, it is Bear Tick. Bear Tick. And I feel guilty when I forget Pokemon names, because it's like, I should probably remember them due to the fact that, like, almost all of my YouTube videos are about Pokemon. Night, man. All right. Good night, Mr. McGee. Thank you for swinging by again. I hope you have a good night. It all G. What's up? Welcome. How should I say your name, by the way? Is saying it all okay, or should I say something else? Welcome, though. Good to see you back. This should be an Empoleon now. Already ROM hack? Oh. It's a cool name though. Sometimes, yeah, I forget Pokemon all the time. We've already had this talk though, like what's the most forgettable? Uh that should be Wall Rain. Paste. 14. And then the last one will be Azumarill again. Cool, so now I just need to do 15 through 19, and we're almost done. Let's find out I'm saying it. it all. Okay. How are you doing today? Good question, Robotic Fan. I'm doing all right. Um, I was watching Evo. It was pretty interesting. Um, I hung out with my friend today, uh, played uh, some like Fire Emblem and stuff. It was cool. Um, and then uh, now here I am. I did some work on the intro cutscene that I'll show off in just a little bit. Just a little bit I'm going to show it off. So first we need to think of what the last Pokemon to add to her team is. Maybe Chandelier. Does she have any ghosts? There's a chance that she'll have a Jellicent, right? And let's crank these all up to 50. Boom. Boom. And then that should be Kingdra. That should be Gothel. This should be Nidal Queen still. 50. 50, and Zebstrika, nice. So pretty soon I'm going to start working on other trainers, but right now I just want to get the rivals out of the way and finished. And then we can also think of the gym leaders, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll work on those next. Because um, it'd be cool to get the gym leader, uh, like, logic set. Try hard. what's up, welcome, welcome back, how you doing? Let's see. Clouds, my boy. Many other things are up. Uh, let's see what the last Pokemon should be for her team, though. What is she currently missing? She's got Electric. She's got Ground and Poison. She's got Psychic. She's got potentially. She does have Dragon and Water. Maybe she should have a uh, an Ice Pokemon, like uh, like a a guaranteed Ice Pokemon for her team. Maybe Mamoswine, Ice and Ground. That's a good combo. Weevil, Dark Ice, Obama Snow. I like Weevil. I mean, she could do Lapras, also Water Ice. She's got that Wall Rain. But should she cover her weaknesses, though? Like, what's good against Water? And then what's good against that? Like, Electric's good against Water, so what's good against Electric? Ground, so maybe Mamoswine? Some tropical besides Fire Electric, nice. So, like, a Grass Pokemon for her team, maybe? Oh, yeah, we were saying Blossom. I think Blossom's a good fit. Hey, I'm back. Mr. McGee, welcome back. Long time no see. How you been? Frostless? See, that could be good, too. Hmm. Good bet at one. Alright, that sounds good. You doing? I'm doing good. The gym leader. Oh. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Obama Snow. Oh, yeah, Obama Snow. I like to say that. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I want, and what I want is Bell Awesome. 50. There we go. 15. This was going to be 16. So this will change from Jellicent to Bear Tick. Hey, by the way. Hey, Espis, what's up? How you doing? Nice. Make that 17. 
instead of bear tick, that can be Empoleon again. The progress? A, hey, thank you. I'm planning on making a lot of progress each and every day. I want the game to be good when it comes out, and I think so far we, we're getting pretty good to reaching a point where the game will be uh, fun. I just want it to be fun. But we're getting there. 19, Walrein, Azu, Meryl. Hmm. And maybe on one of her teams. Mashiro, what's up? How you doing? Border. Hey, typical jalapeno. What's up? I think I did see it. I don't know if I got. I don't know if I want to put snowboarders in the game. I probably should have just sent that message in Discord. I appreciate the thought, though. It's very nice. Levels matter since you have scaling. The levels don't matter. I'm just setting them so I remember. It's for. It's mainly for my remembering. Let's see. So if there's any teams where she doesn't have ice, then I can add ice. So maybe instead of Blossom here, she can have. Frost last here. She has ice. She has. I don't know if she needs. She has ice here. So maybe this can be. Frost last. Jellicent. She does not have ice, so we can add it. There we go. How are you doing? I, I think you already asked me that like three times. I'm doing pretty good, robotic fan. I'm doing alright. Send the level. No, you don't have to send it. Just go to YouTube. Funny art is there? All right, I'll check, but better be funny. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Animation electric gates. Maybe I don't. Hmm. It might be more trouble than it's worth, though. Uh, because I'm trying to think of a good way to do that without spending a ton of time on it, but it might be might be tricky. You could potentially do it with auto tiles, but I'm using auto tiles on the cave that have waterfalls. I mean, if I wanted to sacrifice some of these waters, maybe I could do auto tiles for the blue and for that. I think you could. Alright. Let's uh, make the gym leaders teams. Let's make the gym leaders teams. And I have to make... Do I have to only make one type of trainer? I might have to make three. Yeah, I'm going to make three. Yeah, I need to make three. Let's go to trainer types. And we need to do 74. Um, copy. Paste. And we'll call him... Uh, or this will be, this will be Volcana, actually. So we'll call this... Head Trainer 1, and the name is Head Trainer, and instead they should be using a different battle theme. Instead of BW2 Rival Battle, they're going to be using uh, Ends Battle, which is pretty good. Yeah, wait a number of frames and then change the graphic. Yeah, I think that would be the way to do it, but I don't know. I've already made so many gates that my art might be kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, I guess you could do it. You'd have to just get different... You have to make good graphics for it. There's other ways to do it, too. Like, the auto the auto tile way. Expanded your palette or no? What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean. Alright. Um, let's find our song name. Audio. BGM. Ends battle... Battle end, where is it? There's battle gym leader. Oh, I think I was going to make it battle gym leader, actually. Let's pause it. Battle gym leader? Ooh, that's loud. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to be a little paranoid, and I'm going to rename it to remove the spaces. I don't know why. I don't think it matters, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then I'm going to do rename again to be able to copy the name perfectly. And then I'm going to paste that right on in right there. And I think I'll add .mp3. I don't know if it matters. I'm just adding it just because. So our first one is a female by the name of Volcana. 74. So now I need to add 75. It should be easy to tweak them now too. Head Trainer 2. 
uh, and this is male, this is Blake. We can paste it one more time. 76, head trainer 3, and this one is male as well. That is Watt. Nice. Good stuff. Your palette where all the tiles are at. Oh, you're talking about the tile set, expanding the tile set. I did make a video on that, right? What website do I use? Uh, I use KH Insider. Um, there's other ways to do it. Sometimes I just rip them straight from YouTube. Sometimes I download the entire soundtrack. There's plenty of other ways. Um, go If you go to my tutorial episode 3 and go into the description, there's two sites there that are great for downloading music. Okay. Ugh. Running character sprites, you want to see it? Sansy Boy? Oh, are you talking about for the main character running sprite? Wow. Wow. Yeah, I still need to uh, do the running sprites and... Uh... There we go. So, were you able to make a running sprite based off of the sprite that I've already received? Because if I didn't send you this, then it might, be, it might be hard for you to have made a running trainer sprite. If you did make one, though, then that's awesome. Is it in the art channel? Not yet. Yeah, that's that's another thing I need to do. Bum, 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 bum. With running, a running Brock. Sounds good. Interesting, awesome. If this is a good running sprite for him, I'll just throw this right in the game, and it'll be great. Yeah, this looks pretty decent. Yeah, is this the exact same colors? Did I did I give you my trainer sprite? If so, then this is perfect. Thank you. Yeah, this is this is like exactly correct. Let's uh let's actually copy the old one though, it's just so it'll be a backup. And then save over the original. Cool. And let's uh let's okay, now I think is a good time for us to do something. Let me let me let me do something. I'll show you guys. Uh actually no, before I do that, let me keep playing the song. Simulator is expanded. Um, that's fine. I don't know if I have to worry about doing that for running sprites, because I should be able to... Let's see. I tried to do the trainer scaling, got an error. I did before you uploaded the video. There's a syntax error. Interesting. What is the exact error? Can you... Because um... if it's a syntax error, that should be pretty easy to fix. If it's just in the script. I mean, in the scripts. Okay. Um, what was I going to do? God, I mean... Ah, I keep forgetting... I'm sorry, you guys. I keep... Uh... Okay, I know what I was going to do. I remember what I was going to do. Let's see. She gives you the running shoes. Copy. And I need to give myself the running shoes at the intro. I'll just turn it on here. And I don't want to do... This. Line 488. Can you copy lines 487, 488, and 489 and paste them in Discord? Because just telling me what line it's on doesn't really help me. If you tell me what the lines say, then that'll be very helpful for me. Because you should be able to follow the trail of it and solve the problem. Let's see, trainer sprites you place in Discord. Oh, yeah. I took that and made that. Okay, awesome. That's perfect then. Thank you, Sandy, Sandy Boy. In that case, I can go to the art list. And, uh, let's see, there's male character run, finished. Sandy boy. Um, what else do I need? I need male character fish. Surf, uh, bike, uh, what else is there? Bike, there's dive, but it doesn't matter as much. Fish surf, yeah. Fish surf, fish surf, those are the other things I need. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Paste a link. Okay, is this the, the gym leaders? I don't know if I need this, though. Thank you. I like how he's reaching up. 
That's an interesting resource. So right under the uploaded stream. Okay. Uh, pasting it in Discord's probably better if you just direct message me. That'll be the most useful. You'll, that'll probably be the one that gets you the most likely to get you help. But, uh, that works too. Okay, um, let's test our game. Actually, no, let's not test it yet. Let's get, we're really close to testing it, though. We're really close to testing it. I need to just modify it so that way it plays the full intro. Auto run. And then the quick start intro is set to action button so it doesn't run. Cool. So let me show you, let me show you guys the intro I made. Let me show you guys the intro I made. All right. Hi, hello. What's up? Love is awesome. Welcome. How you doing? Hello there. So I still need to get art for um, Professor Sierra standing here. But so far, this is pretty good. You do look like quite an experienced trainer. But only the best of the best can complete the summit trials. Oh, how rude of me. I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Professor Sierra. My area of expertise is testing the limits of Pokemon trainers. I want to see how far we can push ourselves, as well as the bonds we share with our Pokemon. That's why I created the Summit Trials. Trainers from all over come to Triada Island to test their skills. However, the Summit Trials have only been completed by a handful of elite trainers. Do you have what it takes to prove yourself? Now then, before I can let you onto the island, I need to ask you a few questions. Are you a boy or a girl? Durr, I'm a girl. What's your name? I'm actually not a girl. Go back. Yes, yeah, so you're Cam? No. What is your name? Oh. Uh, why did it default to Cam? Did I, like, make a change? Why did it do that? Well then, are you ready? A new chapter in your Pokemon journey is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. You'll meet many people who strive for the same goal as you. It's up to you to rise to the occasion and complete the Summit Trials. Yay! There you are. You sure took your time getting off the boat. You three are already understand what's going on here, so I'll keep this brief. This is Trout Island, home of the Summit Trials. This is where the best of the best of the best. I, maybe I should just change that so it says this is where the best trainers come to test their skills. Hey, Karashiro, welcome. How you doing? Yeah, maybe it took that name. Wildfire, what's up? How you doing? Also, I have a Pokemon. Um, I was gonna reference that. I originally had a thing where uh, at the beginning he said. Uh, you need to leave your Pokemon behind, but then I got rid of it. If that's a common question, though, then I'll add that again. Basically, when you go to this island, you have to start fresh. Now I'm the creator of the Summit Trials, Professor Sierra. Now come with me so we can get you three started. Come on, I'm a busy guy, you know. So you turn my competition, huh? My name's Roy. I'm the best trainer from my hometown, and I'm going to destroy you guys. These Summit Trials are going to be a breeze. Okay, he's, he's out of here. Wow, he sure knows how to make a f terrible first impression, huh? My name's Shasha. Sh Shasha. Shasha, Shasha, Shasha. You seem like a competent trainer, but time will tell, I guess. I definitely think I'll get along better with you than that Roy guy. So anyway, we should get going. We don't want Roy to get a head start on us because we're standing around. Okay, let's go. All right, now that you three are here, it's time to pick a starter Pokemon. Because this trial is for experienced trainers, the starter Pokemon are randomized. What? Are you serious? Why are our starters random? Well, you see, this is the first test of the Summit Trials. I want to see how well you adapt as trainers, regardless of what Pokemon you start with. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Now then. Oh, that's my name. I named myself dot dot comma. I forgot about that. You can go first. What? Why does the get to go first? It's simple. The is the most experienced out of you three. I'm interested to see which starter Pokemon it chooses. There's no way that's true. What a stupid reason. More experienced than I am. So, pick a starter. Okay, I'm out of here. I, I want, I'm leaving. No, I want to leave. I'm out of here. I want to leave. Let me out. Let me out. Fine. So, you want the Pokemon Ball number two? Yes. I got a Sand Dial. Nice. What would I name it? I shall name him Bumblor. He is the greatest of Pokemon. Alright, now it's Sasha's turn. What? Why do I have to go last? 
Get wrecked, Roy. Alright, you three. Your summit child's challenge is about to begin. Before we get started with your next test, I want each of you to take one of these. Ooh, EXP share. Let's go. Uh, put the EXP share in that key item's pocket. I recommend using that EXP share to help raise your team. That said, using it's completely optional if you want to make the trial harder for yourself. Alright, now let me quickly break down what the summit trials are. It's very simple. On Triad Island, there are three large mountains. You are to scale to the top of the three mountains and defeat the head trainer at the summit. Each of the head trainers will give you a badge. Bring back all three badges to me to complete the trial. Psh, that's it. Yep, climb the mountains and beat the head trainers. The order doesn't matter as long as you complete all three. When are we allowed to start? You can start now. Oh, I'm out of here later, losers. Man, he's so impatient. I'm not going to let that jerk beat me. See you around the island. You should get going. You're free to start now. I'll be watching your progress closely. Don't let me down. Oh. Yay. Oh, typical jalapeno. I actually already covered that. I, I like that idea that you had for the edge cases, but I've already made sure that that doesn't happen. She doesn't heal you. She does a conditional branch check where if stu if choosing starter is on, she says, I'm sorry, you don't have any Pokemon, and then she kicks you out. Let's see. And Roy's just a strong... Yeah, Roy, Roy's, just a, Roy's just a jerk. All right. So, I got the intro basically... I mean, there's probably still a lot of tweaks that need to be made. But yeah, I, I did make it so if choosing starter is on, they don't heal you. And what I could do is make it so the same thing happens for the Pokemart. You should probably choose a starter poke. And let me make sure I get the E with accent. Ding. Boom. Before buying a new thing? No. Anything. There we go. Boom. <laughs> Go to bed. Alright. Sounds good. Before some town. See, there you go. Very straightforward. I like it so much. Hey, that's good. Thank you. I try hard. Yeah, I don't want it to be like too long. It's just basically here's the rules. Go. Are they making those teams now? Yes. Let's make them right now. It's easy to add in the Versus Seeker. I don't know, Karashu. It might be. It might be. Before and after battles in the speeches. Wait, what about what about bit bit bits? What about bits? Are you talking about like for uh, battling the uh, rivals? Who's the final boss? It might be the professor. I don't want to spoil too much, but uh, it might be the professor. Run, fish, surf, fish, surf, bike. There we go. We might, we might need to tweak the female sprite a little bit. Did I put it as tweakable? I said it as finished. Um, let's take a look at it. I don't know if I like the large gap in her forehead hair, because it's kind of similar to this. I don't know how it should look, though. On character surf and other stuff. Oh, thank you, Sandy Boy. That's actually an extreme help. Do you want me to give you the female sprite also? Because, um... Yeah, working on those is, like, that's a that's super appreciated. That's a big deal to me. Yeah, each trial leader has a type. They might have two types, actually. Oh, yeah, here's a sprite that I received for uh, Volcana. It's pretty good. There are some issues with it, like the one pixels, but this can be our work in progress sprite right now. Um, let's see. And I received this from, let me go... Ronda Fish. I have to make a list of who sent me what. There we go. 
<laughs> the character's angry. That's good. He's a very angry man. Stupid professor telling me, yeah, I can't bring my Pokemon with me. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should mention that in the intro. Stick with the male character, because I already started. Okay, awesome. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's, that's super helpful. That's going to be, that's going to be very, very useful. That's going to save me a lot of time, actually, also. Because there's some things I can release the game without, and some things I can't, and I cannot release the game without uh, character sprite sheets. So that's very high priority. I mean, a lot of these others are very high priority as well. Let's see. Sasha Overworld Tweakable. Kitsuna. Yes. Air management classes. Yeah, let's write some lore for the characters right now. Let's, um... Let's, let's, uh, let's... Why... What is the reason? Here's a good hypothetical. What is the reason that the main character is so mad? Is it because he had to leave his Pokemon behind? Let's see. And start fresh. Yes. So it says, Well then, PN, are you ready? Player name. On Shroud Island, you will leave behind your Pokemon, behind your old Pokemon, and start a new adventure. A new chapter. Uh, a new chapter in your Pokemon journey is about to unfold. I don't know if I like the usage of new there as much. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. Um, how about this? You'll face many many tough challenges. You'll meet many people who strive for the same goal as you. It's up to you to write vacation and complete the summit trials. Boom. So very simple, very sweet, very to the point. Let's see. He mad because he had to leave his strongest. That's why he's mad, right? Creator or serious reason? Oh, Java the creator. Let's go. Um, he stubbed his toe. <laughs> Something. Do you have a good anti-lag script? I don't know. I don't know if there is such a thing as an anti-lag script. Uh, if it's lagging, I don't know why exactly. I'm not the most experienced when it comes to making games less laggy. Um, yeah, 8 gigabytes of RAM. Hmm. Are you on an event with a lot of... I mean, a map with a lot of events? Or... I can't think of a reason why it'd be lagging. I mean, I guess it's all dependent on the game as well, you know? Too many events or too much data. Like, is it a big game? Is there a lot of stuff going on in it? Oh, let's do what, Let's do the teams also. I, I said I was going to do them. Trainers. Cool. Uh, hashtag. Let's make Volcano's team first. So she is of type Head Trainer 1. Her name is Volcana. She has... Uh, six Pokemon. Should I give her five or six? Let's do five. Back. Welcome back, robotic fan. Just on the normal central stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know why. I'm started making a game yet. The normal essential stuff. Oh, it might have to do with the music then. If you're using a normal essentials one, um, sometimes the the load times on the music files are pretty crappy. Try experimenting with changing the music to files that run a bit faster. Because some of them have higher load times that are kind of a pain. Good at testing in Pokemon Rainbow? I mean, I'm good at testing in general. I mean, I could test it if you send it to me. I could do that. How do I give them items again? Even I even I forget these things sometimes. There it is. It's comma for the uh, after the number of Pokemon. Oh yeah, you can, you can do a lot more than 100 switches. You can do like 999. You don't have to ask me, you can just experiment with it and find out yourself, right? Let's just give them hyper... 
potion, and then full restore. All right. Thanks, I'll try that. Okay, cool. Yeah, definitely try messing around with that music. Let's see, but you'll be in my game earlier. But are you able to get gym badges or no? In my, in this game, can you get gym badges? In this game, yes? I don't know what you mean. Okay, um, let's focus. What's, let's give her a camera up. She must have camera up because she's on a volcano. It's very obvious. Um, she must have a Volcarona because it's so close to her name. Um, what are other good Pokemon? Maybe Infernape? My game, not your game. Okay. Able to get badges in your game? I don't know. Why are you asking me? You're the one who would know if you get badges in your game or not. Let's see. I don't know. I don't know these things. For Groudon? No, pass. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, maybe a hit on top. Mega camera. I don't know if I'm gonna do megas in this game. I'm definitely doing that in a. Uh... What's the game? Paradox. I'm doing megas in Pokemon Paradox. I don't want to spoil too much else, but that's gonna be a thing. Yeah, maybe give them the Eevee evolutions so she can have a Flareon. Cool. So there's her fire Pokemon. Maybe I should give her just, like, a rock-only Pokemon. Arcanine. Arcanine is going to be one of uh, Roy's potential Pokemon. The music is ending. Jubilife? Is this one okay? Is this one okay? This one's alright. Uh, I don't feel like playing it, though. Howly City Night? Yeah, this is good. This is good. Nice. Stretch goal for Megas? Maybe. Like, worry about that later. Regional variant? I don't know if I want to add new region variants. That'd be cool to do. Uh, that would be very cool to do. But. Uh. Just feel. I don't know. Zatu? Maybe. I kind of want to give her some. Like, a rock Pokemon. Or maybe ground. I don't know. I need to figure out what I want for her team. I want to give her a fighting Pokemon. Maybe give her a Medicham. Maybe give her a Hariyama. Aerodactyl. That's a good That's a good one, I think. Or what about, uh... What about... What's that other one? That's like rock flying and it's another fossil. But yeah, I was just looking at another Pokemon I was going to add. What was it? I was going to Hariyama. That's what I was going to add. 40... Nice. So that's four. Aerodactyl. Cool. So she's got one slot left. Archaeops. That's the one. Should I do Archaeops or Aerodactyl? Did I pronounce that wrong? Archaeops. Is it Archaeops? Archaeops? One of the birds. Maybe. I'm gonna have the birds show up there later, though. Like, uh, after you beat them, they'll sh the birds will show up later. Hmm. Lord Helix. I don't know if I want to do an Amistar. Actually, no. I know I don't want to do an Amistar. Archaeops? That's probably how it's pronounced. Okay. Not not like Arch. Archaeops. Oh. Magmortar. Oh, I forgot about Magmortar. There we go. So now his Magmar can be evolved. Yeah. Let's see. She's just fighting. Yeah. Metacham for more type coverage. But does does Metacham... Hmm. I guess it's fair. So she's got one more Pokemon slot left. Big Ducky. Wait, what Big Ducky? I don't know what's going on. Let's see, what other Pokemon should she have? Honchcrow? Nah. Driftblim? Maybe. Like, what a good volcano Pokemon. Maybe like a Bastiodon? Hmm. Maybe a dragon. Maybe a Salamence. Hmm. Magmortar. He's the big ducky? Magmortar's a big ducky. Oh. 
How long has this been in development? Almost a month? No, this game hasn't been in development for almost a month. This game is, uh... This game has, like, a month of development, though. I started it less than a month ago, haven't I? I started it, like, 16 days ago or something. At, like, maybe half a month. Um... I can give her a cradley Lunatone. Maybe how about Soul Rock instead of Metacham? No, if I can replace Metacham with Harayama, and then add Soul Rock. There we go. Yeah, Carchomper Gabite. That's pretty good too. Who do I get rid of then? I don't want to get rid of Camera Up because he's perfect. Volcarona, I don't want to get rid of. Flareon, I don't want to get rid of. Hariyama, maybe. Aerodactyl, no. Solrock. Hmm. I'll get rid of Solrock. And then replace Hariyama back with Medicham. And then this can be. Jabite. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now for the next team, Iceman. Head Trainer 2. Blake. He'll have the same uh, items. And he'll have some ice Pokemon now. We need to figure out what these will be. Ice and maybe some water. This will be tough. Good transfer. I could do that too. Should he have a Frostlass? He should absolutely have a Mamma Swine. He should absolutely have a Mamma Swine. What else? Glaceon? Yes! What else we got? If you like Capite, <laughs> give him one of those. Yeah, he's the only mid. I think he's the only mid stage because he's the only one that's a, a three stage. All the other ones were two stages, weren't they? Camera up is two, Volcarona is two, Flareon is Flareon, Metacham is two, Aerodactyl doesn't evolve. Cryogonal, Glalie. I like. What, Cryogonal? I always forget about him. I forget about that Pokemon so much, it's like. How do you even spell it? Control F, Cryo. Yeah, Cryogonal. Cryogonal. I spelled it right the first time. Better for Vanillix. Well, the player could potentially have a Vanillix, right? Volcarona. That's true. Volcarona does evolve super late. Well, in that case, should I uh, just make that uh, the other one? Politoed. Ooh, I could do that. Cryogonal. Diagonal. Uh, I kind of want to give her a Lapras. Lapras. Not her, him. Blake's a him. Bear tick. I could do bear tick. Bear tick, sorry. The rival has a chance to have bear tick, though. I mean, guys, that's fine. And now for the last one Delibird? Oh, man. What about Jinx? I was thinking of maybe. Uh, but this is, it's a Gen 6 Pokemon, the uh, Aurorus. I mean, if I add a, yeah, it isn't. A, it is a rival Pokemon. I could add Delibird. Yeah, let's do Weevil. Isn't Delibird useless though? Or is Delibird actually good? What's a good move set for Delibird? I can give this Delibird a good move set. What's a really scary move set for Delibird? What would what would make him amazing? Head. Trainer, three, what? Jinx, Jinx. Delibird sucks. Yeah, if Delibird sucks, replace with Jinx. I think. It's quite useful. Wobbuffet. I know Wobbuffet's actually pretty good. Delibird must have present. Okay. Well, yeah, he sucks then. That shows how much I know about Delibird. Like he must use that move. That's stupid. Why would anybody have a Delibird? So let's go Electric. Uh, he must have an Electivire. That's a that's a must. What else we got? Helioptile. No, that's I'm looking at Gen Six. I should not be doing that. Not Thunderous. Not Stunfisk. Maybe Stunfisk actually. 
Maybe Stunfisk? If I can think of something better, then I won't. 40. And I want him to have some rock Pokemon also, so we can definitely talk about the rock and roll. Uh, he should also have a steel Pokemon. Maybe Aggron. There we go. That's enough for the rock and steel. Let's see. Stunfisk. Hell yeah. Steelix? Ooh. Steelix. Hmm. Maybe. Rotom Frost. How do I do Rotom Frost? Steelix. Okay, so he's got Electivire, Stunfisk, Golem, and Steelix. Let's get let's get some more electric Pokemon back in here. More electrics. Electros. I want maybe Galvantula? I like Galvantula. Bisharp. Hmm. Ice Beam, Aerial, Drill Pick, and Destiny Mod for Delibird. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of just wanted to give Jinx instead. Delibird. Delibird would be funny if it's like a meme. Hmm. 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 Let's give him a Galvantula. Galvantula. And then a uh, Jolteon. That ought to finish it off, right? Electivire, Stunfisk, Golem, Steelix, Galvantula, Jolteon. Magnezone. Ooh, that's good. Maybe get rid of Steelix for that? Or maybe get rid of Golem for that. Yeah. Delibird a competitive moveset. So that'd be funny if Delibird was the only Pokemon that I added that had a competitive moveset. Who'd I get rid of then? Cryagonal? Uh, maybe I get rid of Cryagonal then. I think he's a good fit though. Mamoswine, Glaceon, and Cryagonal are all good fits. I think Lapras is a decent fit. Maybe I get rid of Lapras then. But I kind of like having the water. Jinx, Weevil. They're all ice. Who do I get rid of? Maybe I don't? That would be funny to have a competitive moveset Delibird, though. And I kind of I kind of want it to be funny. I kind of want a funny... I don't know. I'll worry about it later. But there's our, there's our teams right now. Let's, uh... Let's make some trainers that we can test. This guy says fight me. Better go to bed? All right. Where am I going to? Alright, good night. Thank you for swinging by. Hope you have a good night. Sleep. Let's just copy one of these crappy uh, trainers from over here. And paste them. Just paste them right here for now. Bloop. Cool. Let's make a new event right here. And he will be... I mean, she will be here. And this will just be a little test. Show text. She'll just yell, fight me. Good stuff. And then we'll play this copy. Paste. And instead of fighting a youngster named... Ben will fight a head trainer one by the name of Volcana. And she'll say, uh, Wow, you're heating up? I don't know. Hey, Etherin, what's up? Welcome back. Gotta go to bed? All right. Good night, Mr. McGee. You have a good night. Oh, you're pretty heated up. I don't know, some dumb pun about being warm. Who cares? But yeah, when you talk to her, she says, fight me, and then you fight that. Um. Oh, what was that sound? What is that? Oh, thank you so much. No message, but I appreciate the thought. Where, where, who did that? I could, I could hardly see it. I need to expand my OBS window more, so that way when that happens, I can pop it up. Thank you very, very much. I really appreciate that. So let's make this... Blake. She should say you're pretty hot, right? 
Wouldn't that be funny? There we go. This will be Headhunter 2. Much if I like to leave a lover time. Oh, Mr. McGee, thank you. It's the thought that counts. I really appreciate that. I appreciate the thought very much. Oh, shoot, I had to cancel. Yeah, you have a good night's sleep and a good day tomorrow. And uh, I think I'll be streaming again tomorrow night. Amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna blush. <laughs> yeah, you have a good night, like I said. Peace out. I really appreciate that. The compliments and stuff. Yeah, I'll see you next time, dude. See ya! <laughs> okay, so instead of saying you're getting heated up, he'll say, uh... He'll say, whoa... Battling you is... Battling you gave me... Chills. Ha ha ha, what a dumb pun. What a dumb pun. And I, I'll, I'll have her say, wow... Wow, you're pretty hot. Got it for surfing? Ooh, awesome. Send it my way. I, uh, you're, you're, you're doing this pretty, pretty fast. I, I like that. I really appreciate that. She'll say, wow, you're pretty hot. Okay, and now we can test our final one. He yells, fight me. And then instead, he'll say... He'll say... Holy guacamole. <laughs> Jace is cool, what's up, welcome. First time, hey, welcome Skyflyer. How you doing? It's usually impossible, oh yeah. The time differences, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But welcome, man, I'm glad you can make it to one. I hope you have a good time chilling with us here tonight. Maybe instead of holy guacamole, he'll say, he'll say, I'm shocked you're so strong. So string. I'm shocked that you are so string. You are quite the string. Okay, so this will be trainer three by the name of Watt. Change the sprite. Watt. Boom. So now we can test him. If you're up for the win. <laughs> I'm California. I've uh, I've got no say. <laughs> time for school time. It's both for me. Such are the lives of strings. Yes, this is what happens when you live your life as a string. So, let's warp to our gosh diddly dang map. Let's see. Just trying to fix it like it doesn't work. Hmm, that does suck. You'll eventually get it. I don't know why that's happening though. I can't think of a good reason. Oh, I know why this isn't popping up with the name. Because these maps both have the same name. I need to change the name of this map. So instead of saying Triata Headquarters, it'll say... Triata... This one will be Triata Headquarters. No, this one will be Triata Headquarters, and this will be... Outside Triata Headquarters? That's such a long name for a map, though. Outside Triada headquarters. That's so long, though. Ugh. Let's uh, let's play. I think I'm kind of. Oh, don't worry. Give up. No, don't give up. You have to keep pushing on. If you give up every time you run into a, a hardship, then you'll never finish a game. I run into hardships on the daily, but figuring out is what makes them so satisfying. Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, how to make that transparent? I um. Outside Triadic HQ. Yeah, I could just do HQ. That's a good idea, Bromley. The Broccoli. I like that name. <laughs> Welcome. Let's, uh, let's test a battle. Fight me! You got this. You got this, exactly. Oh, wait, he's using... Why is he using her sprite? At least the team is right. Oh, I know what the problem is. But yeah, it's working so far. I just need to make it so that way he's... Head Trainer 2. Did I misplace the sprite? Did I misname the sprite? 75 trainer types 75 oh interesting i messed up this should be 70 this one should be 73 wait what this one should be 72 oh interesting okay this should be 72 no there we go okay i'm working on it i'm working on it 
This should be 70. No, what the heck did I do? I created a shortcut. I didn't want that. Rename. So this one should be... No, he should be 72. Oh my god, I'm confusing myself. She should be 73. No, I don't want to delete. I'm selecting everything wrong right now. This is like... Have you ever just done everything wrong? It's terrible. So he's 72, she's 73. She's 74. And then he's 76. Alright, it's cool. So, the others don't really matter as much. What matters the most is the order that these are in. Cool. Let's try this again. Such so the life of a string. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's uh, make this HQ. And let's make this Triada HQ. I mean, I could also make it Triada Headquarters, and that could be just outside Triada HQ, but I think it'd be nice to have it be consistent across the both of them. Cam moments. Is that what they're called? Brain farts instead of a brain fart. Cam moment. Close. I didn't hit mean to hit new game. See, I keep... You're right. I keep having uh, these moments. Look at the top part of the continue game button. Which part? Oh, this transparency? Is this what you're talking about? Do you want dive art? Sure, I guess, because it's very similar to surf art. Um, I mean, I guess if, if if it's very easy to make, yes. If it's kind of a pain, then no. Animated red sprite from EBS. Um, I need I need to look into this. Name so long to glitch that. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's not really glitching out. It's just the texts overlapping each other. Oh. It's because I'm missing a script now. I'm missing a sprite for him now for the battle. Nice. Um, I do need a, a, a battle sprite for him for the game to actually, like, run. <laughs> um, so let's just copy Lorelei now. And rename that 075. There we go. So now we should be able to battle Blake, and it should work just fine. It's not really hard to make right now? Okay, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. Oh, surfing art. Let me uh, let me copy that and download it. Open original. There it is. Look how good it is. That's very good. I can save over real fast. I can copy the original surf just to keep it as a backup, and then save over the original surf. Yay! Nice. Oh yeah. Another, th another thing I should do is. Use debug to give myself running shoes. Where it is, it's should be around here. There it is, running shoes. Those are shit. There we go. So now if I hold the Z key, I should run, and I have the sprite for it. Oh, look at his running. Oh. Hmm. I might need to. You might need to. Hmm. Let's see. How does that look? Does that look pretty good? I think running left is a little bit different than running right. So it, it's a small tweak. Let's see, running up looks great, running down also great. Left and right are slightly different. Left bobs his head a little bit less, right bobs his head a little more. It's hard to pin it down exactly. But yeah, it's, it's close. Run! I like doing that, where you go. Ah, there you go. Let's, uh, let me read chat. Game is blocking the art. Oh man. Dang it. I keep doing that. Change the running, no problem? Okay, awesome. I appreciate that. Because it, if it's a small little tweak. You do I read the comments? Sometimes I don't. And, uh, then stupid things happen, like what just happened. Let's see. So I'll show you the surf art. Yeah. Oh no, did I save over fish surf? Well, that's a problem. There's Surf. Copy, paste, delete the original Surf. This isn't Fish Surf. This is just regular Surf. There we go. Look at him. Look at him on the dang thing. Alright. Oh yeah. I, don't, I shouldn't be playing music. I was gonna test the battles. I keep on saying I'm gonna test the battles. Alright. So, this is just me with 
a level 65 Vanillite. Maybe I need to change my team. It'll make it easier if I actually give myself a Pokemon that can stand a chance. So let's use Debug. I make the species of this into like Blastoise or something. No, that's not Blastoise, that's War Turtle. Close. There we go. And uh, let's give him Surf. C H G H I J K L M N O P Q R S Surf. There it is. Nice. Command. Oh man. <laughs> and keep a track. See. Which way bobs its head more? Yeah, it's, uh, facing to the right way. Running left bobs its head less than running right. Did I save after giving myself the ownership? I didn't. Man, I keep uh, I keep messing up. There we go. So now let me save. Beautiful. Sweet. Cool. Let me uh, get into an open space where it's easier to test this. Yeah, right's just like a little bit off. Other than that, it's, it's great. So it's scaling up to our level. But so far, so good. So far, so good. Whoa, Vanillite starts with Icicle Spear? That's crazy. I might need to change the way the scaling works for the uh, trainers a little bit. Sixty-nine. Oh boy. Oh, I could have done the ice move. What am I thinking? Look at that surf. I just smacked him in the face. So far, so good though. She's having all the. She has all the Pokemon that I said that she should. Oh no, no one shot. There goes my one shot meta. I don't know why, but I don't like Aerodactyl's uh, moving sprite. It's just how I feel. Looks weird. That's true. It's not a Vanillite. It's a Blastoise. Did I say Vanillite? Best meta. One-shot meta is the best. Uh, it's absolutely the best. One was two pixels off. Oh, okay. Just one of them. I'm glad that we caught it, though. Thank you for making a... Thank you for making the change. That's super helpful. Snap, personally. I'm gonna be honest. I don't like Aerodactyl's arms. Critical hit. Are you kidding me? Get him out of here. Beautiful. Fusing, yeah. The more you use it, the more comfortable you'll get with it, but at the start, it definitely feels like there's just, like, too much going on. Sometimes there's still a lot of stuff that confuses me. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Get out of here, Flareon. You god dang jabroni. Alright, who else do we got? Volcarona. Interesting. Look how spooky he is. Surf him. Extra torrent. Yeah, there we go. That was all part of my strategy. Now I'm in super torrent range. Now I'm dead. I don't think Vanillite stands a chance. Where's for Evis, which display the menu battle horizontally in the lower part of the screen? Let's see. Instead of a road, you know how to change that. I do know how to change that. I will show you after I get my ass kicked. Ow, I got my ass kicked. Alright. Let me show you. It's uh, it's actually not too difficult to change. Um, if you go into your scripts... Let me play some music. It depends on the version of Elite Battle System you's in, you've installed. But um, if you use the installer, you can go into the setting script. Boink! And you can scroll down a little bit. And here is the, the style of the battle UI. 
you can change this from 0 to 1 to 2. There's the next gen UI, there's the elite battle UI, and there's the default essentials UI. So if I change this to 1 and go and do a battle, it might be the type of battle you're talking about. Take out the red sprite. Yes, it is. If you just delete the, the back sprite for red, then um, or just rename it to be something else, then he won't show up. So you won't see it, and it, just the Pokeball will fly out. But yeah, so I changed that UI to 1. So now if I get into a battle, then uh, the battle UI will be different. Look how small he is! Look at that! What do you think of this? What do you think of this UI? That's how amazing Elite Battle System is. You just change one number, and then it's like... Pretty cool, huh? D it's depend Depending on what people like better, I might use one instead of two. I'll change it, thanks. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad that- I'm glad that it's this easy. This guy's amazing. It's pretty cool, huh? Me like Luca SJ very much. What you what uh what I oh sorry what UI is zero? I think UI zero is just the basic default. We can test it. We can test it. I believe though that's uh it's just the default essentials UI. Use one. All right. If people like one better, then I'll use one. New running art. Okay. I'll uh, I'll test that new running art after I see what zero looks like. Let me battle little baby Watt again. Hey, it's little baby Watt. So this is UI set to zero. Oh, so this is, yeah, this is the default. Oh, look, it's all messed up down there. With the dark and shadow and such. Yeah, I, I like one. One is what uh, Uranium has, right? People like Pokemon Uranium, I think. Some people are fans. Okay, let me get that new art. Yeah, dark shadow type. It's the most, the most edgy of the types. I'm a dark shadow person. <laughs> it's like the dumbest thing I've ever said. All right, let's let's replace our boy run with a new boy run. Nice, I got it. One looks better. All right, cool. Let's go. So let's uh, let's see how the run cycle looks. All right. One looks better than two personally. Okay. Ah, yeah, there we go. This running, this running sprite's good. Let's see. Does everything look good there? I think this is this is this is definitely fine now. This is this is this is plenty good. Cool. And we can just run around our island for a little bit. Oh, that's another thing I need to work on. I don't know if I'll work on that tonight, but putting little logos in the top left, like, uh, let me show where it says root two. That's an auto thing that detects if the name has root in it. You know. Maybe I could work on doing something like that up there. Oh yeah, these people are still here. I do get rid of them during my cutscene, so this is this is just a save file that has the cutscene logic a little bit off. I can be retested, but I didn't expect the scale of volcano. Yeah. Will the bike be in the game? I want to add the bike. I'm trying to figure out a good place to add the bike, though. Oh yeah, let's, uh, should I work on the first battle with, uh, with What's-Her-Face? Sasha? Because I got all the logic basically done. Uh, maybe I should work on some trainers. Because I'm, I'm kind of burnt out of working on a bunch of mountain puzzles. I'll get back to them, because I have to. But uh, right now, today, I want to work on other stuff. Yeah, they got a little slowpoke up in here. Yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> I'm glad you find it funny. I like uh, I like saying yeah. At the start would be a great place to add it. Yeah, I think I, I absolutely agree. Um, maybe it should be somewhere near the start, where it's not like forced maybe it could be in this house 
penalty area names. It's kind of out of light. Yeah, I think I, I agree with that. If I, uh, let me play my music. If I go, where is it? Transitions. It might be this. No, that's not it. Where was it? it wasn't titles. It's definitely not tile sets. Was it pictures? It might be pictures. Yeah, where is it? Universal, save, location. Here it is. It's this bar. You can change these bars. So I could change them so that they're something else. See, there's town, there's city. I can make one for like a volcano. Let's see. Super Mario Galaxy. <laughs> Hey, Wasted Buffalo, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? So, this is, in this game, there's going to be lots of different starting Pokemon that you can get, depending. There is, um, this is like an, an island challenge, and it's meant to be pretty difficult. And the starter Pokemon you get will change with each playthrough. So, it's, it's randomly drawn from a list of starter Pokemon that I've chosen. So, it's not pure random, but um, a lot of them are randomly assigned. Let's do this. I kind of want to put some trees up here, even though it doesn't really matter. I don't think people are going to see them. But I'll put the trees up here anyway. And it's going to not be perfect, but it'll be enough to get the job done. Go to that third layer and just start going to town on these trees. There we go. Good stuff. I'm going to sneeze. Or am I? Wait. <coughs> okay, there it is. Oh. Excuse me. All right. Let's uh let's work on some trainers. It should be easy to make trainers. Um, oh, another thing I'm gonna want to do while I'm here working on trainers is do the uh, sun and moon intros of trees. I love trees. If a stream goes by and I haven't made a tree, I mean that's probably already happened. But streams that go by where I'm not making trees are heartbreaking. Okay. Let's copy this guy, put him on Route 1. Yo, what's up? Crafter, what's up? How you doing? How are you? Welcome, welcome back. Maybe have this guy, like, looking to the right as, like, a guard. Or maybe he could be, like, a like a tuber kid. Let's do that. Let's make it, like, an inner tube kid. Let's see, inner tube, this guy. And let's make it so he has a custom move route where he moves... Let's actually make it so he's not there, but he's here. Two tree and then a two cliff. <laughs> I need them. Some chill music. Yeah, I definitely agree. I like listening to my chills and making my game. Let's make this guy move right, 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 right. Move. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Down. One, two, three, four. Up. There we go. In the game's from your door. Oh, there is? I do not know of the script, but that sounds pretty useful. So this guy won't be a youngster. He'll be 47. I need to look up... Okay, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done for my trainers, so I'll work on doing that right now. Let's make it so he has the same custom move route. Actually, I don't know. Maybe it should just be fixed. Standing still. Oh, whatever. I'll do that. Uh, his vision range should be two. He, he'll he say, uh, when you talk to him, he'll say, Hey there. Are you taking the island challenge? Um, what should he be? Trainer types. Because it's going to be a little weird to have, like, little kids on the island when I when I previously built it up. Spanish was quite simple. Okay. I'll, I'll keep this open. Thank you, man. Let's see. What is he? Tuber M. Tuber underscore M. 
It'll be weird though to have it be like there's little kids on this island when it's meant to be like an island challenge. So I need to figure out a good way to justify this. Let's make him name Will. And he has three Pokemon. And there'll be water and ground Pokemon. So maybe like a uh, Wooper. A uh, Krabby. And what's another good, like, Pokemon around the beach? Let's see, what do we got? I can give him a Slack Off, maybe? How about a Wingle? I think that's a good Pokemon for the beach. There's plenty of seagulls at the beach. Cool. So we'll say... This guy is a Tuber underscore M. His name is Will. Who star you? That's good, too. That's good, too. Gen 3 style or Gen 4? I'm going Gen 3 style for my sprites for a lot of everything. Static on the map instead of moving randomly in the map? Besides, they do in the official games. I guess. I don't know. I feel like it's just like a comfort thing. It depends on the, the creator's preferences for my game. Oh. Gen 4. Taking the, but yeah, what I was saying is I I personally don't like it when trainers are moving around randomly and they also can like attack like have a vision range to see you. I personally don't like that. I prefer static just because it's they do it in the official games. I don't know though. My big brother is also taking the summit trials. There we go. Let's just do that. Easy, easy. So there's our Tuber M named Will. Here's our Tuber M named Will. Let's battle him. Let's kick his butt. Let's kick his butt. And trainer scaling is on though, so this will be a pretty high level uh, battle. Which will be a little bit weird, but whatever. Never see his bro. Not yet. I haven't made his bro yet. I've, I've just started making trainers. Let's see. I have to, I have to change the frequency. Because right now his frequency is quite low. Move root frequency highest. So he's he's never... He never stops moving. There we go. Now let's try it. Now let's go. Bump, 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 bump. Ba -bum -bum. Hey, now he's moving just fine. Oh, he saw me. Let's battle. Those are cons I most probably use both. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know if there's technical reasons besides the fact that it's it's harder to control. When trainers are moving around randomly, there is always the slight chance that they could potentially trap somebody, and it's I personally prefer to avoid that. But it's also personal preference. If you're a game maker and you want to do it, then uh, do what you want to do. Oh no! He absorbed the water. And now it's raining. What? Icicle Spear looks like that? What the heck? What was that? That was weird. There we go. What did I expect? I expected him to like shoot out a little icicle instead of biting him. I didn't realize the icicle spear was uh, people with using their teeth to bite. So that's what I expected. All right. I kind of don't like how this UI makes it like when they're at low health. It's kind of like confusing as to how much health they have left. 
Like, what does one health look like? I don't know. I guess it's fine. Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. Oh. I will not change Pokemon. So far, this battle's working just fine. Whoa! That was weird. It, like, kept... It, it stayed focused on him. Huh. Interesting. So far, this is pretty easy, though. Who changed the title screen to ultimate title screen? I think that should be in this in a setting script as well for it. I'm uh, not as experienced with that script, though. But I think you can just uh, modify the settings and then also uh, then tweak the images that it uses. Ow! Take that, Wingle. You god dang wing. Oh, whatever. All of his Pokemon work. It works just fine. I can do an auto battle win now with tests. Dang, you're good! Ah, no, it's actually you who are bad, you little tuber boy. Oh, he's not moving anymore. He was supposed to be moving. If I leave and come back, will he be moving? What the heck? You should move! Huh. Why... Why doesn't he move anymore? I gave him the same move route, and I set the thing, and... Does he have to be event touch still? No, that shouldn't matter. Oh. After beating the kid, he just stands there. Stationary. I've destroyed his dreams. That sucks. Okay, so I kind of want to add like a picnicker trainer around here, or maybe like a camper. And I want to have the battle with Sasha here. So let's do that. And there'll be a fisherman down here that you can talk to. Depression. Poor little boy. Poor, poor little kid. Why doesn't he move anymore? Slow highest. There's no reason he shouldn't be moving. Oh well. I destroyed his dreams. Happy music. Yeah. I destroyed his dreams. Dee doo. Ba bow. There we go. Let's, uh. Let's copy this again. And just use this as the default for making other trainers. This will be another trainer right here. Vision range down of four. Let's make it a girl who makes picnics, and she'll have two Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Let's make her name Emily or something. I don't know. I'm really bad at doing f female names for the uh, trainers in this. Um, and she'll have. She could have any Pokemon. I feel like these types of trainers can just be wild card. How about she has a Lombre and a Cherim? I don't know. I wish Cherim wasn't all like folded up unless it was in sunlight, because you never get to see like sunny Cherim. I mean, I guess you can see it, but I feel like I never get to see sunny Cherim. Hmm. Maybe she could have a leafy on. How about a Muna? There we go. I'm need to make sure that's a trainer type as well. Picnic. There it is. Yeah. Paste that in. Name. Emily? No, that's not Emily, that's Woomily. There we go. I make it so it's the right sprite. Gotta find it. Oh, that was close. There we go. 34. Make it so she's 34. And she'll just say how like shorts like the company needs to wear right now. This just test dialogue. I don't have to write the dialogue right now, I just have to make sure that the trainers work right now. Easy, easy stuff. Very easy stuff. Come on, baby. Cool. 
There's our little picnic boy. I mean, our little uh, tube boy. Oh. Hi, I like shorts. Yes. Yes! She has two Pokemon. It'd be funny if she said... Sh she said, uh... Shorts were alright, I guess. Tackle tilt. I, uh... I think it does change the movesets. I don't I don't think it changes the uh, evolutions, though. I think it will change the movesets. Like, for example, if I uh, just use Harden, it should be, it should use higher level moves. This, But this is a trainer battle. It's a skirt. She does have shorts. That's not a skirt. Are you blind? Do we do do? Do where is she? There she is. Shorts. One leg, two leg. It's the same shorts as this guy. One leg, two leg. Should up to four moves, but I don't think replaced the old. Interesting. I, it might. I don't know if it does though. Uh, that I don't know. Um. Let's have her ma let's have her like dig at the shorts. R okay. I guess. I blame these uncomfortable shorts. And then she'll say uh Whoever talks about how comfortable shorts are is a dang liar. There we go. More commas? Less commas! Bambi J, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? It's hard to probably test. Yeah, it's it seems like it would be hard to properly test because you can't really go in and look at the move set. You'd have to like wait for them to hit you with those moves, and that's just a total crapshoot, you know. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm gonna I know I'm gonna do it right now, and it's gonna be a little bit of a pain, but it'll be worth it. Let's go into our audio folder. Did I copy over the Emmys? I didn't. I could get them from Title actually. It's pretty easy. Basically. There's the youngster intro. There's the last intro, the roughneck, the gentleman. What else is there? Is it just those? I'm pretty sure there was others. But I'll copy these for now. And go back to Pokemon Game Jam. Go to audio. Go to Emmy. There we go. Just audio files I had. And essentially, let me pause my music. These are songs that play when the trainer sees you. So. When a youngster sees you, it plays this song. When a last sees you, it plays this song. It's a little quiet. Roughneck, I get a game of you. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything. Okay, gentlemen. So now what we need to do is just figure out the intros for our trainers. Rename, let's just copy the whole dang thing. And I believe you paste it Yo, 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 Mr. Ketchup, what's up? How you doing, man? What's going on, dude? Let's see. So, swimmer underscore M. I think it was the second one. There we go. So, if our... No, not swimmer underscore M. I guess I, I'll do it for tuber. I think it's not the first one, but the second one. I need to test this. And, yeah, let's just go into our game and see what happens when our tuber sees us. It should play the song. Game with you as protagonist. Maybe. That'd be interesting. I don't know if I want to play that kind of game, though. I'd be a bad protagonist. I'd just be a jerk. <laughs> Alright, so when this guy sees us, it should play a song. It's not working! I must have placed it in the wrong place. That's very possible that that happened. Let's try this side now. Now, let's see if it works. I got a feeling that it might not work, but, you know, this is why we test. Tomorrow morning, so good night. Alright, good night, Professor Frankly. Thanks for swinging by, dude. 
you have a good night. Going out. Oh, yeah. What I miss? Uh, not too much. Just, uh, just some more dang mapping. I did some tile stuff, so that's good that that's over. Hey, the song plays now. Cool. So now it's working as intended. So that's where it needs to be pasted. Good stuff. Pokemon War fan game? Ooh. I don't know if anyone's done that. Uh, that would be cool, because that's the whole Lieutenant Surge thing, right? Tuber will also have this. And this. Cool. So who else will have... Sis and Bro, I think. Twins. Who else will sound like a kid? Like, who else will use the youngster theme when they see you? Not the Swimmers, not the Pokemon Rangers, not the last, because there's a last one. Youngster will absolutely have the Youngster song. Cool Trainer, no. Picnicker, no. Camper, sure. Crush Girl, no. No, 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 none of these others. There's not a whole other people that sound like little kids. Okay. P.S. Let's go. First person shooter. Yeah, what about that Kingdom Hearts scene? It's pretty crazy. I, uh... I was definitely, uh... Confused by some of the things that I saw. I liked listening to Buzz Lightyear talk about Heartless in Japanese. That was pretty great. He was like, Heartless. -o. Uh, let's see. Lass will sound like that. Maybe Cool Trainer F will sound like Lass. Lass will absolutely sound like Lass. Tuber F can will just be youngster. What did what did Lass sound like again? Let's pause my music. Actually, my my music just ended, and my song comes on. Okay, what did Lass sound like? Um, that could be a good number of trainers. That could be a good number of trainers. Ooh, no spoilers, please. Well, we're just talking about trailers that we saw for Kingdom Hearts three. Um, I guess I don't know. No spoilers, please. That's hard to. Oh man, dang it. Um, but yeah, if I was in a Pokemon game, I would probably have a Tyranitar, a Blastoise. I would like to have Zapdos, but I don't know. Uh, maybe a Torterra. Absolutely Tyranitar and Blastoise, though. Those are like my two favorites. Maybe Crush Girl could have that? Nah, Crush Girl shouldn't have that. Pokemon Breeder should, though. Lady should. Hiker, no. Gentleman, no. Gambler, Fisherman, Engineer, Channeler. No, no, no. None of these. Bugcatcher. Bugcatcher might be Youngster, actually. Birdkeeper, no. Biker, no. Beauty? Sure. Beauty can be Lass. Aroma Lady can be Lass. Yes. Cool. Who else can be last? Really not a whole lot of these others. Camper, Picnic, let's see, Swimmer, no. Maybe Swimmer F? I think that's okay. Psychic F, maybe. Ooh, there we go. Should talk about the main story events in previous games. Oh, okay. I will not. I'm just gonna say that Kingdom Hearts 3 intro was, I mean, that Kingdom Hearts 3 info was very interesting. Don't know if I will. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough, because Kingdom Hearts, I feel like not a whole lot of people are into watching casual playthroughs of it. It's more just like everyone wants to see speed runs, and I'm not as into that. But I don't know, that's just, that's my, warp, that's my warped perception. Okay. Cool Trainer F, Picnicker, Crush Girl, no. Okay, let's see what the next song is. Let's pause this, and let's see what the next song is. Roughneck. That sucks. That song sucks. What else was there? There must have been other songs. Let me go to my desktop, because I'm pretty sure that I, uh... Look what else I have on my desktop. I don't know if that emote's been approved yet. Hopefully it gets approved soon. I don't know if it will get approved, though, because it's pretty crappy. Um, where is it? Where's my Pokemon Black and White soundtrack? There it is. There's got to be other intro songs that I can use. Let me go to the uh, Pokemon Black and White soundtrack online and see what the whole list is of songs. And see if there's any other songs that seem like they would be good for intros. Like, Battle, Trainer's Eyes Meet Youngster. Let me just search Trainer's Eyes Meet. So there's Lass, there's Twins, there's Clerk, there's Backpacker. Interesting. There's a lot more that I haven't copied. Like, uh, Disc 1, number 38, Trainer's Eyes Meet Twins. 
That's pretty good. Copy that in to our game. What else is there? Trainers, eyes, meat, uh, clerk. Is that on disc one also? Trainers, eyes, meet clerk. That's song number 52. There it is. That's good too. It's gonna be hard to figure out what I wanna use for what. And then backpacker is here. That's a good one. Copy that, paste that in. Let's do the backpacker one right now. Control A, copy. Let's go in and let's start playing my song again. Let's look at Twitch chat. What's up, you guys? Speedrun BBS, let's go. Two blind bridge song. It does, really? That's how rough they are. They just copy songs. So uh, the black belt one, I mean, the, I'm using the backpacker one. So I can paste that in for sailor. This should be like big dudes. Maybe rocker, nah. Else we got definitely hiker absolutely hiker that's like made for hiker gentleman has his own theme let's see, last trainer camper crush girl black belt i think should be the same as hiker and crush girl should be the same also because they're just both like badasses tamer i don't know who cares about tamers who cares about super nerds you know who cares about these guys okay um what are the other songs clerk twins let me take a look at the list of soundtrack stuff again. Disc 2, Parasol Lady and Scientist. Ooh, those are good. Let's go into my folder. God, I got so many freaking things open. Disc 2. So I haven't translated all of these. Or did I? I did. Interesting. Wow. Oh, no, never mind. Not all of them. What do we got? 67 or Song 5. 67. Here it is. Trainer's Eyes Meet Parasol Lady. How's this sound? That's just a good song. Paste that in. Scientist. Oh, that's for weirdos. There's a good amount of weirdos, though. So let's rename, control A, copy, and let's start pasting this in for some weirdos. Do you do that words? Okay, after I edit, I've copyrighted. At the start and the end. Oh, yeah, for the... When you walk away, you don't hear me say... So scientists should be scientists, absolutely. Super nerd can be scientist also. Who else can be that? It's just those two, right? Only those two weirdos. Game of Discord? Okay. I'll have to take a look. Thank you for letting me know. Better just do YouTube. Yeah, it might be better to just do YouTube. It's hard to say though. Plasma. Trainer's eyes meet plasma? I mean, that's good, but I don't know if it meets any, like, I don't have any Plasma Knights in my game. Meets Ace. Oh, that's a great one. I'm going to use that for a lot of them. Trainer's Eyes meet Ace. Paste that in. Wait, did I paste it in? There it is. Cool. Copy this and start getting that for a lot of our people. Like, this can be it. What else we got? Swimmers... Let's start playing my song again. Swimmer 2, paste. Yes, Swimmer M, paste. There was a Psychic one, so I'll uh, delete this last one for now for the Psychic. Pokemon Ranger absolutely will be Ace. Let's see, Cool Trainer. Yeah, both these Cool Trainers, M and F, will be Ace. Nice. What else we got? Tamer can be ace. Rocker can definitely be ace. Who else am I missing now? Pokemaniac. Pokemaniac should be the scientist one. He's a weirdo. Pokemaniacs are weirdos. Where's the scientist song? Where is it? Professor? Rocker? Sailor? Scientist? There we go. 68. Trainer's eyes meet scientist.mp3. Copy. Paste that for Pokemaniac. Yeah, what else do I need? There's painters and ladies. I mean, I guess I can cross these bridges when I get to them now. Oh yeah, there was a gentleman song I still needed to do. Rename, copy, 
paste this in for the gentleman. Maybe I could paste that in for gambler as well. Maybe I could paste that in for fisherman as well. Engineer should maybe be scientist, or maybe he should be gentleman. I don't know. Cue ball should be backpacker. It's just like a big burly bumbler. Cue balls are big burly bumbling dudes. Channeler, that'll use the psychic one. What was the psychic one again? Hey, baby, I've been doing pretty good. I've just been chilling. A MIDI version of Sanctuary? That's funny. MIDI. Uh, let's take a look at that list again. Where's the psychic one? There it is. 74. Song number 74 on disc 2. Trainer's Eyes Meet Psychic. Cool. Let's see how this sounds. Whoa. Jesus, that's intense. Those drums? Wow. Okay, paste that in. Rename it. Control-A, copy it. Let's play my song again. Let's go back in. So Channeler will be that one. Maybe Burglar could be that one also. I don't know. Youngster should be Ace. Biker should be Ace. Beauty is last. Those two are... Okay, so that's good. Let's just go to the Psychics, though, and make sure that they get the Psychic song pasted for them. Cool. So now let's copy our Ace song. Scroll up to the top. So now most trainers have been taken care of. Bird Keeper will be Ace. Biker will be Ace, I guess. Um, so now all that's left is Bug Catcher, and Bug Catcher can be Youngster. So I just need to find the Youngster one. There he is. There's our Youngster. Copy. We're almost good. We're almost good. Bird Keeper. No, not Bird Keeper. Bug Catcher. There he is. Sweet. So now we've got uh, intro songs for hopefully all of our trainers when they see us. That's nice. So another thing I could work on. Uh, I'll work on that later, though. Actually, I'll make a I'll make a, a a trial version of one of them just so I can show it off. It's cool. If you're using Elite Battle System, there's no reason for you to not use this. I made a, tu a tutorial video on it already, but. Uh, let me bust it out right now. It's very nice. Open. We want to go into our transitions, I believe it is. Let's see, versus trainer special. SM. There it is. So SM trainer 4. And we'll just want to paste one of our dudes in. Or was it this? Was this it? I think this was it. Actually, no. Let me close. I think it's fine if I do the other one, because that one was just a little bit wider. Yeah, there it is. Place. Characters. Where is our tuber? Is this the one? Our, the tuber sprite's actually a little bit messed up. It's got, like, weird white bits around it. But essentially, what you can do is place your tuber and then increase him to, like, 500%. That might be too much. Let's go 400. Cool. Let's move him up a little bit. Let's uh, turn off the back layer, and let's actually make a new back layer so I can see the little bits that are behind our tuber and get rid of them. Yeah, like, I don't like that. Why is, why is that there? It's kind of crappy. It's, it's an easy fix, at least. Get in there. Actually, not going to use it. Ooh, okay. Oh, you don't have to. In Pokemon Noir, I didn't. But th the only reason I didn't use it is because I didn't know about it. I think it's I think it's very, very nice. You have to go 7.44 a.m. I need some sleep. See the rest of it on YouTube tomorrow. All right, see ya. Thanks for swinging by, Skyflyer. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a good night's sleep, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, dude. You have a good night. There we go. Cool. So now what I can do is, this is Trainer 47. So I can save this. First off, I'll save this as... Actually, no, I'll just... I'll save it as smtrainer2.png, whatever. But this needs to be 
I mean PSD, but as a PNG, this needs to be SM Trainer 47. Cool. So now if I battle that tuber, since I have SM Trainer 47, and he's Trainer 47, we should see a nice Sun and Moon intro. Keep the Gentry look. Oh, okay. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. That is fine by me. Oh, I think I messed up. He might not be 47 that I'm fighting. He might be a different number. What is he? What am I fighting right now? I'm fighting a tuber underscore M. And tuber underscore M is 47. Did I mess up slightly? He should be 47. Uh, let's play my music and let's figure this out. What I'm making, I'm probably making a stupid mistake. Let's see. Some trainer 47. Does that have to be 047? That shouldn't be the case. Let's go and uh, look at Pokemon title real quick, just so I can get a refresher on what I did there. Yeah, that's fine. And I had SMBG default. Does this have SMBG default? It should. It does. What did I do to make it wrong? What did I do to mess it up? SM Trainer. 47. It should have done the uh, Sun and Moon opening. There's also SM Elite for. Hmm. Where is it? Entry animations. There we go. Oh, do I also need the SMBG for it? I shouldn't. There's SM Special, SM Elite, and SM Crazy. We don't want special. We just want regular, right? Other styles, SM Special, SM Trainer, and then the number. That's fine, so I do have that. Hmm. <laughs> SM Special. I could try doing a special and see how that looks. But yeah, this is absolutely a Tuber M. And Tuber M is absolutely number 47. And I absolutely made... Maybe I skipped it? Maybe I was hitting enter? I'll try it one more time and see if I can get a refresher on what it looks like. Let's see. Let's see. Going to play... I'll play it later. Right now I'm focusing on the game jam, though. I'm... I'm my priority is getting my game done. So I'm sorry, but I'm probably not going to play it for a while. So... Why did that happen? Maybe it has to do with the settings of this. Like, what if I Saint changes to two and try it? I just want to see how it looks. Let's try it. Let's see it. Interesting. That changed it, so now it does work. What's up? We're story on a PH. How you doing? Welcome back. Also, there was still little bits that were flying around during that uh, sprite, but in general, that's what we wanted. So I did need to change that to two, leaving that at one, and it won't work. That sucks. But uh, I guess I got to delete in just like a big area around the trainer. Let me just make... There it is. There was a lot of, like, sand pixels just flying around him. Could I change the exclamation point graphic? You can, yes. You absolutely can. Um, that'd be cool to update, actually. Uh, let me play my music. And let me show you. It's It should be in your... 
graphics uh, animations folder. Where is it? Is it this? No, it's not this. Is it this? Is that the one that pops up? What is the one that pops up? No. Are you telling us what the date is now, Ben BJ? What is the point of that? Um, where is it? Look at this leer, ripped and composed. Nice. That's good stuff. Where exactly was that? It's not Ball Burst. Was it this? Send rules, what's up? Welcome, how you doing? Hello, hello. It might be that animation right there. I mean, I guess another way to figure out is to go into RPG Maker, and you can actually go into the database and you can look at your animations, I think. There it is. So you can see the exclaim bubble. Yeah, you can see what the graphic it's using is. And you can change the uh, how the animation looks. You can make it last a little bit longer. You can change it so it's using this tile instead. So that's pretty cool. What am I doing? I am making my own Pokemon game using RPG Maker XP. I, um, I'm working on a game jam currently right now where the game is due August 10th, and then I'll have to submit it, and then everyone can play it. And yeah, I'm working on just making it pretty nice. I, um, I'm going to test this animation now and see how it looks. It should look a bit better. Let's see it now. Alright, let's have him fight me. Hey there! Yes, I am. Let's see. Yeah, he's still got a lot of weird particles around him. What the heck? This is a tough fix. Uh, I'll go into Photoshop and start figuring this out. Like, what the hell? There's so many little bits that are just laying around him. How do I get rid of those? Is it impossible? Oh yeah, I don't think I saved it as a new PNG either, actually. That'll that'll make it a little bit uh, harder. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Room pop of graphics. Um, so a lot of them I actually took from a, uh, a project uh, or a, uh, a list of resources called the... Uh, what's it? What was it called? The Black and White 2... Uh, mod. I'll show you. I'll show you. But let's overwrite this guy and let's test it. Can't go? You mean you can't do it? Um, why not? Is it because your account got banned and I told you to make a new account and you're not listening to me? Is that why? You gotta listen to me! You can change it. I think the issue is this guy's sprite itself. Let's test it now, though. But, uh, yeah, we're sorry on it. The, um,. The pop-up graphics come from... Oh, I don't have it open anymore. The the shiny his shiny 570s black and white uh, thing. And you go into pictures, I believe. And you go into... Where is it? Location. There it is. And these will pop up depending on the route you're on. And if, if it doesn't fit any of the qualities in the script, then it'll just use this. But otherwise, if you're, like, on a route, then this will pop up and it'll show the number of the route up there. It's pretty cool. There's a script for it right here. Location window. So you can make it so that way things have different uh, settings and they can potentially fit in that different setting. So it's pretty cool. But let's test our new, our new battle and see how it looks. Because I got rid of the little bits in the background. I think now it'll look just fine. I am. Let's battle. Come on. Yay. Now it looks just fine. Actually, no. Was there still a little bit around his head? Man, that's such a messy sprite. All the other sprites are just fine. But that guy's pretty messy. Nice. Um, let's go and open up his sprite also real quick, because I just want to wanna edit it. I just want to get that little bit away. This will be an easy fix. He's trainer 47. Open this up. So he's got dumb little white squares flying around him, you know? Let's make a background where it's like easier to see them. That makes it harder to see them. What was I thinking? I need to use dark color. No! Make it dark. There we go. Perfect! Now I can see these dumb little bits that are all around him and get rid of them. Like, come on. 
Like, come on, you know? Know what I'm saying? Where are his parents? I don't know. They're, uh, just very, uh... Not very responsible parents. Let's see, have I done the battle system yet? Um... I've done, uh... Elite battle system, if that's what you mean. I've, pl I've plugged in some really awesome battle system stuff. I, uh... I'll show ya. I also made it so that way some of the trainers and wild Pokemon scale up to your level. Let's uh, save this now. Tiny lasagna. Tiny little bits. Little bits. Tiny pies. Eat that shit. <laughs> okay. Um, let's also do it for the picnic girl now. Characters. There she is. Let's make her 400%, so she's very tall. There we go. So this is very easy to make. This song's gonna put me to sleep! I need to change it. Quickly. There we go. This'll keep me awake. This song is good. Sun and Moon now? Ooh! Gotta play Sun and Moon. Here, peer. Hey, what's up? Welcome. How you doing? Okay, so this needs to be trainer 34. Very nice. So now if we battle her, she should have her intro as well, and it'll look pretty nice. I like the Sun and Moon intros. I think it looks pretty cool. Memes past the butter and Mulan. Oh my god. The Mulan... That sauce is like... I mean, that, that meme is like... It, would, it like was so overdone, I feel. Maybe it's just because I'm like a cynical prick, but... Sometimes memes grow too big too fast, and I felt like that was one of them. Sure, it was funny. It was funny in the episode when he told him, like, he held him down and said I wanted he wanted the Mulan Szechuan sauce, and that was the whole point. 99 seasons until he gets the sauce. That's funny. But then everyone just, like, going crazy about it was, like, maybe not as funny. Maybe it's just because I'm a jerk. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but sometimes, you know what I mean? Sometimes memes get too big too fast. It's like, slow down now. Slow down now. Yeah, now it's boring. Now everyone's like, hey guys, <laughs> epic Szechuan sauce reference. You guys remember? I, do you guys watch Rick and Morty? Mulan Szechuan sauce. It's like, ugh. God damn. It's, it's overbearing. I'm getting old. I'm 23, but I act like I'm 75. They're too big and then they get boring. Yeah. That's what happens with most things. It gets too big. And then, and then people are like, oh, I don't like it, because it's, because it's boring. Well, sorry. Ah, time zones, you know? Yeah, it's like, ugh, this crap. You know? It's like, have you ever, like, been in, like, you, you like a meme, you think it's decently funny, and then, uh, and then, and then it runs its course. You know, like, maybe for, it, for a week it's pretty funny, and afterwards it's like, eh, whatever. And then, on Facebook or whatever, that meme kind of makes its revitalization because Facebook is always, like, a week in the past when it comes to, like, meme news and such. such. So then your friends are talking about it, and you're like, ah, I don't want to be an asshole, but that's not funny. It was funny a week ago. <laughs> but then that's, like, the most asshole thing to say. Where are you from? I'm from California. We Are Number One. We Are Number One is amazing. I love We Are Number One. It's a shame that, uh, what, the guy has, uh, cancer? Stefan Carlson, that's his name? I hope he, I hope he pulls it out, but I don't think he will because they, like, posted some news about how it, like, advanced stages, which is really sad. I love We Are Number One, though. I love that song. He is number one. Hey! Okay, so let's set up our battle, our first battle with, uh, What's-Her-Face. Sasha. Let's make it so that way right here. Um we battle her. Do 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 do. Yes, I'm in the USA. We are number one. Yeah. I don't know if it saved his life, but it absolutely has been a great like it's been great like bringing a smile to his face. Do 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 do. do. Walk in water. Yes, I can. If you hold control, then you can absolutely do this too. It's called cheating. Mm. Okay, so let's make it so that way. This is going to be a little tricky. Let's see. This one. 
And then a new event page is still switch A is on. Robbie Rotten. Yeah, anything to make Robbie Rotten happy. Besides anything illegal. Robbie Rotten. Okay. Let's have this be set move root player. Move left, move down, turn left. Okay. Copy that. Paste it here. And instead of moving left and turning left, he just moves left. That's it. And then one more copy paste. And he'll move left, move up, and then turn left. So that'll end him up on this tile right here, where we will have all of the event logic. Oof. A god, yes or no? What is the question? Take, take some more time typing out your message, because right now I don't understand it. It's like broken English almost. I'm sorry, but like, I can't. I can't, man. What the power of microscopic Pokemon in between your feet of water. Yes! Uh, what is it? Uh, I'm using the midichlorians, actually. Let's make... Little bits. I love little bits. We are number one. This is going down in history. I love the part where he goes, No, don't touch that. No, don't touch that. That's my favorite part. Let's make it so her name is Sasha in all caps, just screaming at the top of her lungs. And let's make it so when you step on this, uh, what should be Sasha's theme? Let me pause this. Because right now I made it so that way when, you bat uh, when Roy shows up, it plays this theme. So this is like Roy's theme, where he's coming up to fight you. What should, uh... Sasha's theme be? This is a good one. How about this? No. No. Bianca's theme? Oh. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That's a good theme, too. Sounds beautiful. Alright, so... When she shows up, it'll play that theme. The player will have a question bubble as Bianca, I mean, as Sasha comes moving towards her. Is the game almost finished? Or is there still a long way to go? There's still a long way to go. Um, I've, I've laid a lot of the groundwork, though, so that's important. I've laid a lot of the groundwork. A lot of it now is just going to be um, map making. But that's fun stuff. I like fun stuff. I like map making. Okay. So how many spaces does she move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a lot. Insert a set move root or Sasha. Let's make Sasha move nine spaces. No, let's make her move ten, whatever. Move right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice. Good stuff. God, real or not. Oh, God, Ben BJ. Uh, let's change the topic. You're asking very bad questions that I don't want to talk about on stream. I don't appreciate you asking very loaded questions. I actually very much do not appreciate that. I appreciate that in ne around negative 10. Kitsuna, what's up? Welcome. How you doing, Kitsuna? Kitsuna, I'm actually about to battle uh, Sasha, which is the rival you did the battle sprite for. So we're about to start seeing some battles with your battle sprite that you made. How you doing, though? Doing good? Nice. That's what I like to hear. She says, fight me. Yeah, you're, you're kind of weird, Ben. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it at all. It's just, just weird. Let's see. So I'm doing jump to labels. Rival one beaten. Okay, so this needs to be changed. So it's rival two. So if you've zero, if you've beaten her once, if you've beaten her twice, if you've beaten her three times, then you fight her four times. So now let's do the jumping. So essentially, this is going to be easy. We just need to make it so that way this needs to go from I rival to Sasha. Okay, there we go. That's about all we need to say. Yeah, and that's about all we need to say. That's about all we need to say. So let's just have her say wow when you beat her. Apply. I guess I can just copy this and then paste it here. 
I think that'll work. Let's see. But instead of zero, this needs to be one. Uh, instead of one, this needs to be two. Nice. Mister yeah, there we go. Does RPG Maker take up? I don't know. It shouldn't take up too much memory. Um, are you talking about, like, on your hard drive? Because it shouldn't take up very much at all, if that's the case. Was that three? No, this is zero. Yeah, that's fine. So this is zero. This is one. This is two. This is three. Copy. This is four. You got dive and bike? Oh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Back at it again. <laughs> Back at it again with the awesome sprites. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sansy. Look at these. Absolutely great. Okay, so let's uh, copy and paste our bike to make a backup, then overwrite bike. Now save. Let's copy and paste dive. Because I don't know if I'm going to use dive, but, you know, just in case. Awesome. Thank you very much for that. Sweet! And I can actually update the art list also. Throw this on over. So let's see. Surf is finished. Bike is finished. And dive is finished. And I spelled finished wrong here, but close enough. Cool. Doop, doop, doop. There we go. So now we just need fish and fish surf, and then all of our main character sprites are good. Yeah. Got to go or going. Bye. All right. Bye, Ben, VJ. See ya, dude. Getting moon tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Let's get games once after they come out. Yeah. So when the starters will be right now. The starters are going to be random, actually. There's um, it's not going to be pure random, but it is going to be from a select list. So instead of four, that's five. Fish surf now. I'm saying was good. Thanks. All right. Awesome. Thank you, thank you again. That's uh, that's that's actually like super super duper helpful. That's saving me a lot of time. I really appreciate that because I was gonna have to do them myself, or I was gonna do them myself. But receiving extra help on stuff like that is very very nice. Let's see, six, seven. Make that eight. There we go. Oh, wait. And then this needs to be, make sure that that's the correct one. Sasha? Yeah, so this needs to be nine? Yeah, so this was eight. Nice. So this was nine. Yes. All right, cool. We're almost there. It's pretty easy. Are all real stars or just completely random? Um. It's like 50-50. Half of them are real starters, but the other half are other Pokemon. The thing is, they're always Pokemon that have two evolutions, or two other evolutions, so three forms. So they're all Pokemon that evolve twice. Um, depending on how people feel about it, though, I'm open to tweak the starter choices at all times. So if people think one starter is dumb and should be replaced with another starter, then that can absolutely happen at the tip of a hat. I can update my game just like that. One thing I was thinking of doing is making so that way the left ball has a like a select pool of starters, and then the the middle one has a pool of starters, and then the right one has a pool of starters. But right now the way it works is you you select one and you just get one of them at random. So yeah, that's what I got right now. 14, almost there. We're almost there with the uh, the logic loop. Almost there, Weedle. Oh god. 
Yeah, Weedle, Weedle is not one of them. I've definitely made it so none of them are one of the bugs. That would be funny, but very mean. What are the starters? You want me to go read them off? I can. I'll after I finish this event, I'll uh, read off the list, and you can see. Just tuned in. Oh, don't worry. No worries. I'll uh, I'll uh, read out the list once I'm done with this very soon. Welcome, by the way, Flame Warrior. Back. <laughs> Welcome back, Ben. I appreciate the effort. Thank you, man. Yeah. Just uh, take your time writing message messages. Make sure that they all sound good and make sense. And I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. As long as they're not, like, crazy, deep, philosophical questions when I'm just trying to sit here making a Pokemon game. Let's see. So then, let's make it so she moves left 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And make sure that that's Sasha moving left. And then we need to do our event set self switches. So our events are her. Wait, new event page. She's event 13, and let me guess 12, let me guess 11, let me guess 10, nice. 12, no, 10 through 13, I'm turning A on. Edit, let's see, 10, male rival, oh yeah, male rivals are tough. Um, I really liked that battle sprite that you did though of the male rival Kitsuna, did you, um, did you see the concept art that was done for him already? Uh, by, uh, what's, uh, Nick? Nick whatever, or Nick M. Nell? He did, uh, like, just, uh, something very close to what I'm looking for. Yeah, like, let me show you, uh, what was I gonna say? Man, I'm all over the place, dude. I really like the battle sprite you did for, uh, Sasha. Let me go back to school? Alright. If you're heading out now... I'll see you, Ben BJ. Pikachu experiences an existential. Yes, Pikachu absolutely does. Caterpie be fine, but not, but not Weedle. Let me uh, check this out though. So I don't know if this is anything to go on, but like a battle sprite like that would be great. We have one right now for him, but it's a, uh, it's kind of like a work in progress that that's uh, I'm not super happy with. But it, if if I can't get another one, this will have to do. Um. But yeah, Kitsuna, seeing another, like, a male rival done in your style would be absolutely fantastic, I feel. I mean, this one's not bad by any means, but it's, like, not perfectly in line with the concept art. But then again, it's just concept art, but I really, li I really like this. So many different versions. Ooh, first things first, don't buy it on their website. I would say go through Steam instead. And if you want to make Pokemon games, use RPG Maker XP. Uh, if you want to make other RPGs, use another version of RPG Maker. They're kind of expensive, though. But if you want to make Pokemon games, only RPG Maker XP is the one that works. Only RPG Maker XP is the one that works. Yeah, it does look awkward. But then again, that's because I did it, and I did it like in like two seconds. It's not perfect, but... So, we should be able to test our battle now with Sasha. Let's see if it works. Let's run past these trainers using my uh, epic hacks. Okay, then, thanks. Yeah, and if you have any questions about RPG Maker XP, um, let me know, because I have a tutorial series on my YouTube channel where I can teach you how to make Pokemon games, too. So, can preload with essentials. Um, Yes, the Mega Evolution scripts come preloaded with essentials, but it actually getting the sprites does not. It's working! Do 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 do. So I just need to make these uh, player touch instead. And uh, yeah, it's working. It's working! Yeah, I haven't written dialogue for her yet, so she just yells fight me. But uh, in general, that's pretty good. Who has it? Uh, she does. <laughs> it's a great, great uh, Pokemon. 
What song is this? Um, that was... Let me go into my folder and I'll find it. That was Bianca's and Charon's battle theme, I believe. Uh, battle, Charon, Bianca. It's the seventh song on the Black and White soundtrack. So that's her battle theme. And her intro theme was Bianca's theme, which is... Where is it? The 56th song on the Black and White soundtrack, right here. It's pretty good. It's pretty relaxing. Pretty neat, if I will say so myself. The sprites and Crash when I tried to add when he tried to make evolve Charizard. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, watch the video. There's um but I couldn't make evolve. It might have to do with you not having the Mega Ring. Try giving yourself the Mega Ring. Battlefronts here? Maybe. I don't know. That could be a stretch goal. Um Yeah. Uh, because the Battle Frontier, a lot of it's already been done in Essentials. I mean, not not the really, like, super detailed stuff. But, um, there is some base functionality in there. Got the Mega Ring 2. Interesting. Okay. Then in that case, I don't know. There we go. Let's do this. Turn this off. Make it so she's like this, maybe? Control Shift S, PNG. So this should be Trainer 73, or SM Trainer 73. There we go. So now, when we go in and test our event, it should look pretty good. Minus the dialogue, not being any. You tried applying for Nintendo instead of Sony? I haven't. Uh, that would be interesting, though. Yeah, right now I'm just working as a tester at Sony. Fight me! They'll sue him. <laughs> there she is! Oh, that's another thing we still need to add. It'll be optional. We don't, we don't need it. But let me add it to my art list. Um... Back sprite. It's optional. We don't we don't need it. But uh, let me add this here also. But uh, back sprites for male and female characters or uh, trainers. Back sprite. Back sprite. There it is. Cool. Mega. Okay. Follow your video. Yes. Definitely do. That'd be cheaper. It's super expensive uh, for no reason. Um, unless you get it on sale. If you get it on sale, it can drop down to like $5. But sometimes it's like $25. Dull. Yeah, testing games actually can be pretty dull sometimes. It absolutely can be. What I should do is maybe make it so that she's here. And she doesn't walk as far, so there's a little bit more warning. So instead, she'll only move right twice. Ding! There we go. And does it set a... It doesn't need to set a self-switch right now. It doesn't need to worry about that. So your rival battle starts here. Nice. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I guess there's that. How do make this one instead of the trainer being in the middle of the ground tile? He stays at the side of his Pokemon? Um... I think that might be a setting in an elite battle system, so that way they're always there next to the Pokemon. I think it looks awesome. Oh, it does? I'm glad you like it. it looks pretty cool. Playtest? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I re I got there recently, but, uh, yeah, playtester at Sony. It's all, it's alright. It's pretty cool. It's pretty chill sometimes. Alright. What was I gonna do? Oh yeah, test this event now. I feel like this would be better if she had the question bubble. So instead, it'll appear above Sasha. And then... You know, wait 12 frames. Insert. Uh, set a move route for Sasha to turn right. Let's play some music. And then insert, show text. Sasha will say... Uh, 
ba ba bum. She'll say, hey! And then she'll scream, fight me! And then you fight. Just float like a ghost. That'd be, that'd be spooky. Let's do it. Let's see. Where did you get the black and white location thing? Uh, I got it on relictcastle.com. Yeah, the fishing sprites are hard, but I'm still determined. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really officiate that. Prish, fish, I don't know. I'm just trying to be funny, even though I shouldn't be. <laughs> thank you a lot, man. You're going off. It's 120 for you? All right. Good night, Mr. Ketchup. Thank you for swinging by again, dude. You have a good night. Mr. Streaming. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that you said that. I appreciate you swinging by and being cool, just like always. And I hope you have a good night, dude. Hmm. I think I should make it so that way there's less randomness involved in the trainers. Which should be pretty easy to do if I just go into the script. I can't run. What the heck? Is it 120M in the USA? It's uh, it depends on the coast that you're on. I'm on the west coast, so I am at 11:22 p.m. It scared me. Oh yeah, I haven't uh, I actually haven't played Platinum. That's one of the games on my to-do list. Piplup. So that means her starter is uh, Piplup. <laughs> She has a Piplup, which means she has a Piplup. Wow, this is going to be an excruciating battle. Look at that Hydro Pump. Oh boy. Yeesh. I'm going to lose to this Piplup. I'm going to lose. That's the only thing. I need to figure out the looping music, but that's like... There's... It's kind of tough to do. I mean, I could just get rid of the fade out, so it just like cuts. Use ice. All right, let me use ice then. Platinum is incredible. Oh, okay. Cause I actually like unpopular opinion, but I actually really disliked Gen Four because I played Pearl and I was like, oh, I don't like this very much. So damage, I think. I got a crit, so there's that. I would have thought the ice would do less, cause it's I don't have stab. So if I'm not if I'm doing a move that's not very effective, I might as well do one that I'm uh, that's my typing. I don't know what does more. Whirlpool, no! It was bad, okay. So I do need to play Platinum then. So in that case, it's not an unpopular opinion. Interesting. So I wasn't wrong. I'm just ignorant to the fact that there is a better version. Interesting. That's cool. Platinum is tiers above. Faster everything. Okay. Well, in that case, that's what I definitely need to play. Because I actually really disliked Gen 4, because I only played Diamond and Pearl. She looked really short there. You beat me out, crud. Oh, and it has to return the music back to normal, too. I forgot to do that. But that's pretty easy. Um, my from was completion. Insert... Let's just make it so that way it plays the background music that the roots currently... Or what I could do is just do the uh, restore. And then at the very start, before I change the music, I could do a memorize. So that then it restores it to what it was when it memorized it. Nice. That's an easy fix. So I just need to do dialogue for that and everything's fine. So our first rival battle on this place is basically set up logic-wise. In terms of dialogue-wise, it's still got a ways to go, but... Uh, yeah. Let's see, Pian's going to talk in-game? Uh, I don't know if he is going to talk in the game, that's a good question. I think he's going to be just the silent protagonist, just like normal, like usual. But, um, that would be interesting. I kind of just want to make this water. And I can move this rock up a little bit, actually. Move it to like that, so it's in the water. There we go, we can have like a cliffside battle with uh, our lovely rival. Very good. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Steve, what's up? Welcome, man. How you doing? How much longer I'll be streaming for? Maybe like a half hour or more? How long have I been going? Let me take the time. 
I've been going for two and a half hours. What's the background music? This is Iki Town Day from Pokemon Sun and Moon. That's what's the A. What's up? Welcome, man. How you doing? Good luck on the game. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm gonna need this luck. Talking protagonists are almost as bad as edgy fan games. Ooh, that's pretty bad then. Currently, ooh, nice. That's a good team. I like Breloom a lot. Let's make a fisherman that uh, gives us a. I can just delete all this. Ding. Let's make it so there's a fisherman who gives us a rod over here. There we go. Fit trainer 15. There we go. 15. And we'll call this Fisherman. And he'll say, uh... Hey there, kid. And he'll say it in blue. Show text. You look like you have the fishing spirit. Slash B. How about nah uh, here? Take this. You know, it's something really basic. Just say like, here. Take the dang thing. Let's see. Is Ultra worth buying? Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. It's uh not out yet. I do not have a way of telling you. Although I hope it's worth. I mean, it's. Likely that they'll make a game worth buying, right? I mean, they want pe they want to make money, so they they gotta make a good game. They should try to make a good game. Yes. Where do I get my item again? Was it here? I thought it was this one. There it is. Colonel PB receive item. That's what I want. That's what I like. That's what I like. There we go. Impression of the cop from Dumb and... I actually haven't seen that movie. Um, when it comes to seeing movies, I'm the worst person. Super rod's a type of rod, right? X and Y worth buying? I think so. I had, I had a fun time. But, but, but. Hello, what's up, dude? <laughs> How you doing, man? Let's see take the dang sword. It's hilarious. Yeah, I don't know if X and Y is worth. I personally had a decent fun time playing it though, but it's all it's all subjective. How much uh how much of it's been made? I don't know. I'm pretty far. I mean, I've made a lot. I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, HDSS, that that's good stuff. Absolutely, man. Use that fishing rod to unleash your fishing spirit. This will be a weird guy. He goes, use, you have the fishing spirit deep within you. Go show the stars. That's what I said I was going to do and I haven't done yet. Let's take a look. So you can get a mudkip, a bulbasaur, a cyndaquil, larvitar, aeron, dratini, marip, timber, beldum, vanillite, or sand isle. I might make it so you can get some others, but uh, those are the ones that we can get right now. Yeah, so this is RPG Maker XP. So this isn't for emulators. Um, emulators run ROM hacks, whereas this is like a fan game. It's like a weird difference, but it um, you can't run fan games in emulators, and it's opposite. Why the hell would I not choose a genie? So that's the thing. It's um, It's not up to you for the choice. It's randomized. Where can I download it? Uh, you can download RPG Maker XP on Steam. If you want to download fan games, um, there's plenty of good websites for that, like forum sites like uh, Relic Castle. That's what I'm doing this game jam for right now. Um, and basically, my game will be released August 10th, and then everyone can download it and play it for free. RPG Maker XP is not free, but all fan games are free to download. Yeah, I would choose Larvitar if I had a choice also. Why am I doing cut one on... Oh, that's cutscenes. That's what it is. I was wondering what the heck cutscenes were. Put up money. Yeah. So, RPG Maker XP. I, if you want to learn how to use it, also I have tutorials on my YouTube channel. Um, 
but yeah it drops down to like five bucks during summer sale or during sales but otherwise it's like a little bit too expensive honestly it's like 25 bucks which is like yeesh this is like old software too they're making a killing um gift it to me <laughs> some if somebody wants to toss it away let's see give you the game what else should I do tonight Rising Ruby and Sinking Sapphire. That's pretty fun names. Uh, what was I gonna do? Let me take a sip of my water. I haven't taken a sip of water in like two hours. God, no wonder I'm dying. Oh, that's good stuff. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. There's a sub button? Oh, there is a sub button, Flame Warrior. I, I recently got it when I became an affiliate. Hopefully my uh, emote got approved. For those of you who haven't seen it, I made this my emote for my channel if you subscribe. And uh, it hasn't been approved yet. I don't know. I feel like maybe it shouldn't be approved. I mean, maybe not shouldn't, but I, don't, I think it won't be approved. It's horrifying. I'm going to spam that in chat. It's going to be great. Who should I shiny hunt? That's a good question. Or ass. Let's see. What's cool? <laughs> Relicanth? That'd be brutal, though. Um... Zangoose is kind of cool. I don't know if that's too brutal either, though. So here we can have another battle with her. And since we already set up the logic, it'll be really easy. Or ass. Yeah. Or ass. Um, we can set up our second rival battle, actually. Super easy. Will someone get Prime back? Oh, awesome. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. Subscribe. Subscruel. Subscribe to my YouTube channels. Okay, so what we can do is copy the event that we previously made and tweak it very slightly because the battle logic is like the exact same. Ten no money. <laughs> no, I'm talking about uh, something else. I'm talking about Flame Warrior subbing. Subscribing to my uh, YouTube is free. <laughs> I know, I know that feel, though, man. Let's see. Are the mountains done? They are not done. But they're getting... Uh, just did that. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, if you got questions about RPG Maker Pokemon stuff, hit me up. But, I mean, then again. Uh, it costs money to get RPG Maker, and I'm sorry. Where's the emote? Ah, uh, they need to uh, approve it. It's still in the approval process. It has a little lock on it, a little padlock. So, I can actually do something very similar to what I did before. I'll name this one Sasha. Sasha! Like, made on Gen 4 platform or 3? So, mine's kind of like a weird mix, where it has some 3 and some 5, actually. It's really weird. Uh, have you seen any of the battles in the game yet? I'll show you. I'm using a system that turns a lot of the battles into Gen 5. Subbed. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you for subbing. I appreciate that. My Minecraft Let's Play. Yeah. Subscribe to my Minecraft Let's Play. Episode 12. Episode 12 of Minecraft. Uh, I build a block. I was actually going to do uh, an April Fool's video on my Thundaga channel, but then I decided against it because it would probably make people unsubscribe. But it was going to be me playing Minecraft, and then I was going to fuck with the video, so it would be like 140p. And then I'd go up to the microphone like this. Okay, caution. My microphone's going to sound really bad when I do this, so just listen. Hey guys, Kevin here, and I'm playing Minecraft. Um, today I'm going to hunt for a creeper. Yay! I'm sorry if that sounded really bad, but um, that's what I was going to do, and just like make it a 140p video and put that up on my uh, YouTube channel for like an April Fool's joke. But then again, it was also like really freaking stupid. <laughs> it was really stupid. That's fabulous. <laughs> Today we're hunting the creeper. I'm gonna kill the Enderman. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys think it was funny, then maybe maybe I'll do it next April Fools. I'll just have to be reminded. Um, so you battle her, and since it's the second battle, she'll move Sasha, she'll move left a lot, 
Let's make it so that way it sets through on first. Through on and always on top on. Cool. And then it has to set her self switch, which is... I think she's one. She's event number one. She's the first event I made on this map. Wow. Should I remind you? Alright, awesome. Definitely remind me. <laughs> It'll just be like a really shit compilation of me playing Minecraft really poorly for like five minutes. Alright, new event page, self switch A on. Cool, so she disappears. Good stuff. So now I just need to make a couple other events with our player touch. Um, and then a new event page. If self switch A is on, then it disappears. Cool. So on player touch, this will change the move root of the player to move left and down and then turn left. Very nice. And this needs to be event touch, which I did do. Good. Copy paste. Oh wait, I need to make it so that way this event, 41, also turns off. Crap. Got any boneless pizza? Can I get a boneless pizza? That's a meme, right? Did I make it so this event also turns off when you win? This is 10. Okay, this event needs to not show up anymore when you when you uh when you complete it. Otherwise you'll just keep being able to battle her. So let's copy this. So this is event number nine. Nine nine nine. Maybe that was a little tasteless what I just said. Whatever. Okay. So now let's go back into our mountain. Let's make it so that way event 41 turns off when you beat it. Bloop. Good story and stuff, but doesn't... Oh, Pokemon Glaze, is that what you're talking about? I played through that a while back, and I kind of agree with you. When does the Steam Summer Sale start? I think it already started and ended, unfortunately. Um... I don't know what the next sale is. I think the next sale is Halloween. Move left, move up, turn left. Okay, cool. So this is 44. So we got 42, 43, and 44. So we need to turn those off. So 42. 43. 44. So, if all goes according to plan, we should be able to fight her, and then go and fight her somewhere else, and her team will be different. I've set it up, I've set up the event so you can battle her on Route 1, so I'll just hold control so it skips the battle. Cool. So now the amount of times you've beaten her... No! No! No, it messed up! It messed up. Okay, I need to fix this. Event touch was not the correct call. Does this need to be player touch? Because it went again. Maybe I should be only if a switch? Hmm, this is tough. I might be able to fix this, but I'm going to see if player touch works. Let's try it out! Are the, are the Dragon Balls universe games any good? Okay, so now I'm holding control. It did work! I'm holding control. Wow. Now I'm releasing control. So now the event shouldn't play anymore. Nice. So now it shouldn't play again when you step on it, but it did. I thought I set the self switch. What the heck? This is event 9, and I set self switch A on. What the heck? Don't I do it right here? I do. Why did that not work? Oh, it's because I'm setting it to false. I need to set it to true. What the heck? That's my mistake. Ugh, there we go. Depends on if you're a fan of DBZ. I used to like DBZ a lot. I think I'd be okay with it. These all need to be true. Dang. There we go. Why were those set to false? Okay, that'll fix our problem here. Let's also check our problem in the Ice Mountain. Let's play some, some, some songs. Let's make so these are all set to true also. Why was this set to false? What the heck? What the freaking A? Cool. So now, what I'm going to do for this test is I'm going to battle the rival in the first route, and then I'm going to battle the rival on the second in the second battle in our Ice Mountain. And it should change the teams. So it should be the same event that changes the team. One room. See, that'd be cool. Just make a, make a short game. 
<laughs> That'd be pretty epic. Rather than one, though. Okay. And Xenoverse 2, it probably, like, fixes a lot of problems, right? So we skip the battle, holding control. Wow, you beat me, Akrud. She leaves. And now it shouldn't play anymore. Good. And she should be disappeared. Good. So now let's see if her team is different when we battle her on the Ice Mountain. It warped me all the way over here, so that's great. Let me use my cheats to uh, walk through the walls, disappear and fly. Okay. Let's save. Pokemon will she have on her team? It's dependent on her starter, and she actually gets a random starter also. I set it up so the rivals also get random starters, which is kind of tricky, but it was it was cool. So this should be the second rival battle, so she should have... What the heck? So that's a bug, but I can fix that easily. So she should have four Pokemon now. Oh, she only has two. That's a problem. Okay, so before I start... Why did that happen? She should... Did it, did it not increment the count on... Uh... It should have, though. Am I not incrementing the correct count? I might not be incrementing the correct count. Yeah, it's incrementing Rival 1 beaten instead of Rival 2 beaten. That's an easy fix. That's the problem, because she's Rival 2. That ought to be enough to fix it, but let's also go to the uh, Mountain event again and make it so that way the question mark plays on the right event this time. So instead of playing on event 13, it'll play on Sasha, which is event 1. So she'll turn around and say, hey, it's you again. Let's fight. Um, she, she just runs up to your face and yells, FIGHT ME! Okay, cool. So, now let's test it again. So they can have the same starter as you? So they can't. It's impossible for them to have the same starter as you, because we're drawing from different starter pools. Oh no, I saved? Oh, I have to make a new game now. Because I, I messed up the uh, switch. Ah! I guess I can make a new game and play through. Yeah, she'll only have two still because I messed up the wrong number. Okay, let's make a new game, you guys. Let's run through from the beginning to the, uh... From the beginning up to the battles. And let's let's see if there's any dialogue that needs to be tweaked. No, that is definitely not her real dialogue. Yeah, that's gonna need to be tweaked for sure. Definitely change. Going to bed? Till tomorrow. Thanks for the stream. Don't worry, I, I absolutely love what you've done tonight, Sansy Boy, and I hope you have a good night. And, uh, yeah, tomorrow, um, I'll probably ask for your skills to help me out even more, because you've been super helpful. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, have a good night, dude. Alright. Hello there! You came here to take on the Summit Challenge. Oh, uh, you came here to take the Summit Trials Challenge, correct? You do look like quite an experienced trainer, but only the best of the best can complete the Summit Trials. Hmm. Oh, how rude of me, I haven't even introduced myself yet. Stream, even though it's- oh, alright. Oh, I'm only gonna go for, like, another 20 minutes, maybe. But I, uh, I appreciate the dedication. Tanit Sprite? Yeah. Are you talking about, uh... Her, uh, her Overworld Sprite? Uh, you're talking about, uh, Sasha's Overworld Sprite? That'll definitely need to be, uh, changed a little. I also need to update this Oak picture. This needs to be changed to be Professor Sierra. I need, uh, I need a Professor Sierra, like, battle sprite for this. Seven minutes until the final day. Dawn of the final day. Do you have what it takes to prove yourself? Now then, before I can let you onto the island, we need to ask you. I need to ask you a few questions. Oh, there's another thing I need to change real fast. Let me go and do that right now, actually. So, for you guys making Pokemon fan games, just go to settings, scroll down all the very bottom, and change this from false to true. Hit apply, and then hit OK. Essentially, what that setting was was use keyboard text entry. That'll make it so that way instead of having to tap around to name something, you can just type it in. Pretty neat. So I hit new game, I skip through all the dialogue because I just read it all. Hello there, blah blah blah, summer trials, yes? Oh, yes indeed. Quite an experienced trainer, only the best, yeah, yeah, I haven't introduced myself. I'm putting myself to sleep with my own video game. That'd be great if you made your own video game where it just, like, puts you to sleep. Not like you die, but like, uh, you fall asleep. I need to make that for myself, so I can just fall asleep. Are you a boy or a girl? Boy! That's the wrong sprite. I'll need a battle sprite for the trainer. So now I can just type it in. Camaro is my name. Yes, in all caps. So then, Camaro! Are you ready? You leave behind your old Pokemon and start a new adventure. 
A new chapter in your Pokemon journey is about to unfold. It's up to you to rise to the occasion and complete the summit trials. Let's go. Just one room and a bed. Called Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> that'd be so easy. I'd, that'd be funny. You guys want to play Pokemon Sleep? But each time you go to sleep, you get like the room get cha changes a little bit. And then eventually you have to like leave the room and you're in like some fucked up dream world. That'd be epic. Cody Price, what's up? Welcome. Oh, no worries. I'm glad you're here now though. Welcome, dude. Yeah, Darkrai? Yeah, it'd be like Darkrai's dream world. So you keep sleeping and you, the room keeps changing slightly every time you sleep. And it's like, do you want to sleep again? Do you want to sleep again? Do you want to sleep again? It'd be like the perfect Let's Play Pokemon game where somebody just plays it for 10 minutes. It's like a 10 minute joyride. Just make a game, just make Pokemon games that are 10 minutes long, but are action packed with emotion. Those are like the perfect Let's Play games. Darkrai is pretty cool. Thwith. Pokemon Thwith. I love Pokemon Thwith. Bum, 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 bum. My name's Roy. I'm the best trainer from my hometown. I'm gonna destroy you guys. Maybe you should call them fools instead. I'm gonna destroy you fools. You fools. Fools! Haha! <laughs> wow, he knows sure how to make a terrible first impression. That guy's a dick. My name's Sasha. You seem like a competent trainer, but time will tell, I guess. Ooh! Is that a backhanded compliment? I definitely think I'll get along with... I think I'll definitely get... I definitely think I'll get along better with you than that Roy guy. So anyway, we should get going. Yeah, exactly, Trox Troxy. Exactly. Okay. We don't want Roy to get a head start on us because we're standing around. Let's go. Alright, now that you three are here, it's time to pick a starter Pokemon. Because this trial is for experienced trainers, the starter Pokemon are randomized. What? Are you serious? Why are our starters random? Well, you see, this is the first test of the Summit Trials. I want to see how well you adapt as trainers, regardless of what Pokemon you start with. Hmm, I guess that makes sense. Now then, Camero, you can go first. What? Why does Kay get to go first? It's simple. He's the most experienced. I'm interested to see which he chooses. What? There's no way that's true. That's stupid. More experienced than I am. So, pick a starter. Alright. I picked this one. Yes. Aaron. Nice. I'll name him... Swoody... Booty... Swoody Boo. Alright, now it's Sasha's turn. Why, why do I have to go last? See, Roy's always just like, what? Why is that happening? What? Why is this happening? Alrighty, you three. Alright, you three. Your Summit Trials challenge is about to begin. Before we get started with your next test, I want each of you to take one of these. Ooh, EXP Share. Let's go. I recommend using the EXP Share to help raise your team. That said, using it's completely optional if you want to make the trial harder for yourself. Alright, now let me quickly break down what the Summit Trials are. It's very simple. On Triad Island, there are three large mountains. You are to scale to the top of the three mountains and defeat the head trainer at the summit. Each of the head trainers will give you a badge. Bring back all three badges to me to complete the trial. Psh, that's it. Yep, climb the mountains and beat the head trainers. The order doesn't matter as long as you complete all three. When are we allowed to start? You can start? No! Oh, I'm out of here. Later, losers. What a dick. That's funny. I like making him so he's a jerk. See you around the island. Okay, see ya, Sasha. Goodbye. You should get going. You're free to start now. I'll be watching your progress closely. Don't let me down. What a creep. This guy's watching me creepy. So now that choosing starters is off, I should be able to heal now. And it works just perfectly. Ch only champion of your hometown. <laughs> the t I created. Look at this monster I've created. Go to the right. All right, let's go. Because Roy went down and she goes left, so I'm going this way. Oh yeah, I have running shoes also. Nice. The Safari Zone is to the south if you're in need of rare Pokemon. I'm going to the Safari Zone! Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to avoid these guys right now because those are my tests. Nice. Let's see. What's anything clips through? It's not that it's clipping through the counter, it's that it's like part of the counter. It's actually the exact same. Oh, let me overwrite this. I need to. I need to save over. Yes. It looks the exact same as the counters for other Pokemon centers. It just looks weird on this one. So maybe I could bump it up. But it's actually the exact same. It just looks a little bit weird. Like, let me. Uh. 
I'll show you. When she interacts with it, the Pokeball will be perfectly in place. Or at least it should be. Yeah. So if I move it up a little, then I'll need to figure out the Pokeball thing. It does look weird, though. Let me uh, show you how a, a normal Pokemon Center works. I mean, it looks, but it's uh, it's tricky on the eyes for sure. Yeah, it's like, this. is it the same amount of clipping? It just looks smaller because there's no like other counter around it. Maybe I could update the counters around it to make it look a little better. I like this mountain though. I like the fire mountain. It's cool. Mount Fuego is nice. Yeah, so, like check it out, but but I, I, you haven't seen Mount Fuego yet, but Mount Fuego is pretty cool. I've been working on that a little bit. The fuck thing? It's so good. This is such a good song, and it's the theme of Mount Fuego. So you get to like go through this volcano while listening to this. And the the puzzles are pretty neat on Mount Fuego. I need to update the second floor, but uh, that's pretty cool. There's all this lava and such. Ma -na -na -na. Why don't I use it instead? I mean, I could. That's if I can buy that. That's the thing, though. You don't need to buy anything to be able to play fan games. Oof. In order to play fan games, they're free. If you want to make them, you need to buy RPG Maker XP. But if you want to play them, you don't need to buy anything. What was I going to do? Let me check. I could use the normal Poke Center counter, maybe. Let me go in... Yeah, I need to just make a counter that goes up and wraps around it. That's the problem. There's just a little space here. Yeah, if you just want to play, then that's... You don't have to pay anything. That's free. Um, I would say go to the relictcastle.com, and they have a, a long... Uh, a big catalog. Oh yeah, if you want to play my games, uh, in chat you can type exclamation mark paradox for Pokemon Paradox, or exclamation mark noir for Pokemon Noir. Pokemon Noir was my first game, and it's like a demo, almost. But Pokemon Paradox is like a full adventure. And it's free, baby! It's free. Let's see. Something like that, and then something like that, maybe? Or how about that? That's the exact same. These are the same tile. That might make it look a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think I know what my problem is. Let's see. What's the correct tile? Is that the correct tile? Update before Pokedex? Oh yeah, that's true. I am working on a big update for it. Quick tutorial on how to download it. Um, you just download the RAR file. Do you, do you, you've extracted RAR files before, right? Essentially, you extract it, and inside there'll be a folder, and it'll look like this. And you just run game.exe, and then you'll be, then you'll be playing the game. Location on black and white? Okay, let me, uh, on Relic Castle. Oh, were you looking at the new Relic Castle? Let me, um, I think if you just search, I think if you just search shiny 570 BW2 mod, there it is. And here it is, you scroll down a little bit, there's the loading screen scripts, there's the location window script. Press game download 1E, yeah. For Pokemon Paradox, you're going to want to download 1.1e, I guess. I think that's the new, the newest version. I'm going to release 1.2 eventually. It's going to be sick, but... Link in chat? Yeah. I'll link it right now. And then inside will be a RAR, and then you just extract that, and then you run game.exe, and it's a free-to-play Pokemon adventure. Yeah, I think if you like to play Pokemon games, and you don't like paying... Uh, fan games are right up your alley. You're definitely going to want to play some fan games, because if you've played a lot of Pokemon games where they all feel the same and they don't change up the formula a lot, fan games change up the formula a bunch. So I think I think you'd be into those. Fan games are great. Uh, what was I going to do? There was something I was going to do. Close this. Close that. What was I going to do? I think so far I've made pretty good progress today, though, you guys. I was doing something at Mount Fuego. Oh, I was going to make sure that the uh, the two rival battles work. Let's make sure those two rival battles work. Let's scale up my Aeron. Let's use cheats. In, let's use my debug mode cheats to s raise Swooty Boo up a bit. Swooty Boo will now be level 75. And his species will be... Agron, he's he's ascended to his final form. He's final Swooty Boo now. 
It's his final swooty boo. Good stuff. Can I get a summary of what I did today? I, um... I made some trainers and I did some events and stuff. I worked on my intro a little bit. Uh, I got some sprites. In general, it wasn't too productive. I didn't make any new maps. Oh shit, there's a trainer in the way. I've just been setting up battles. Oh yeah, I did I did set up the battles with the uh, three leaders. So we got their teams. We got all the teams for our our uh, head trainers and stuff. Yeah, sweetie swooty. Coming for that booty. Alright, so here's the first battle. She says, hey, fight me! So now she should only have two Pokemon. Which, right now she does. Brandy, you know what's up? How late am I? Decently late. Welcome, though, dude. I'm actually about to end real soon, but it's good to see you. How have you been? Let's see. Switch extract to. Let's see. I press extract without confirmation or extract a specified file. I would say uh, hit extract to, because that'll extract it to its own folder. What you want to do is put Pokemon Paradox in its own folder when you extract it. So she only has two Pokemon. Let's run. Yeah, so you put it in its own folder, and then you run game.exe, and then you should be able to play. How's the stream going? It's going pretty good. I've made some decent progress tonight for uh, rival battles and whatnot. So now if I go and look at variables, the amount of rival 2 beaten should be 1, which it is. And nice. So rival 1 random is 2, which means that Roy will have a Growlithe. Rival 2 random is 1, which means that Sasha will have a Cub Chew. There's no extract 2. Um, is there a way to extract it to its own folder? Not extract 2, but like extract 2 Pokemon Paradox, blah 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 blah. Is that an option? Because then it'll make its own folder, and then you can just go and open the folder and then run the game. Alright, so this is the intended path. Nice. WinRAR. Okay, yeah, I use WinRAR to maybe just make a new folder and then extract it inside the folder. Yeah, because as long as you extract it and get the stuff out, then you're fine. So here's the second battle. She should have four Pokemon. She does! Cool, it's working just as intended. It works! It works! Yes! Ma Let's see. 192f.png is a pack of Trojans. What? That makes no sense. That's just a. That's just an image file. 192f. That's just a .png. I don't know. Yeah, like, let me show you. I actually have the folder. I think I still have the file on my computer. Desktop. Pokemon Paradox. There it is. So here's my Pokemon Paradox update. You can just hit... I just did extract to Pokemon Paradox underscore update. It is not a virus. It says it's a Trojan virus. It is not a virus. I'm the one who made this file, and if... There is no way it's a virus. I promise you that. I'm extracting it right now. False positive. That happened to me a lot, too. Let's play our song. Cool. So I extracted Pokemon Paradox update. Wait, did I just fuck something up? Hopefully I didn't. Okay, cool, I didn't. You run game.exe, and then it's work. And then it should be like this. This, this should be what you see. And then it should work. Let's see. What's this? Oh, nice. That's what it is. So where did I extract that to, then? Where do you play your music from? I'm playing it from YouTube. Let's see. Which one has Game RxP Proj? They both do. I need to do a little test of something real quick. I'm sorry. I need to close this and make sure I didn't accidentally just overwrite all my progress on Pokemon Paradox. Let's see. So far, so good. Okay, so this one is this one is good. Let me check the other one and see how far along that one is. So far, so good. They're both good. Interesting. They both are up to date with my progress. So I can just delete one then. Oh, I know what I did. I made a backup. That's what it was. So I can just delete the old the old one. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I didn't lose my entire update. <laughs> 
All right, Game Jam, Game Arcs Proj. Where do you play music? Oh yeah, sorry, that was, that was the question. Yeah, I play it from YouTube. Oh no, the song has ended. The song's all right. Fan Extract, hopefully it works. Yeah, hopefully it works. Because if you get comfortable making like playing Pokemon fan games, then you'll play a lot of a lot of cool new unique adventures. Double click game exe, right? Yeah. Double click game.exe and it should load up and then you should be fine after it's extracted. Make sure that game.exe is still in that folder with everything though. It has to be inside that folder with everything in order to work. But then you should be then you should be able to get playing. The keys are a little bit off or a little bit weird in Pokemon fan games, but you have to uh, like move with the arrow keys and like uh, like Z and X or like A and B or something. But other than that, it's pretty good. Fuck, I can't hear. Oh, is it too loud? <laughs> is Pokemon Paradox really loud? <laughs> yeah, you gotta go into your volume mixer. Go into your volume mixer and lower it. Let's put another trainer, like, here. And let's make this guy a camper. What you said? Oh, I was just gonna say, uh, lower it, yeah, lower it in your volume, and then, uh, then you'll, then you'll be able to hear. Let's make this guy a camper. Nice, and this guy will be named Camper... Ready, spelled like that. And now we just need to define Camper Freddy. Let's give him three Pokemon. Freddy, three Pokemon. Make it ASW instead of arrow keys. I think there is. I may have done it in the update. I don't know if I did it for the uh, Pokemon Paradox version that's out right now. But there is a way to do it. It's You have to edit the scripts of the game in order to make it. Uh, it might not be that in the newest one. I'm sorry. Let's see, what are some good Pokemon to make this guy have? Hey, Sacred Gold, what's up? Welcome, man, how you doing? Hello, hello. Let's see, Skoruppy? These arrow keys? Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think, yeah, the, the update to Pokemon Paradox is gonna add a lot of cool stuff like that. Skoruppy. Let's give him, uh, what's, what was it? Pachirisu. Good about me? I'm doing pretty good. A little bit tired. I'm getting near the end of my stream. I'm gonna end actually really soon, but, uh, I'm glad I could, uh, see ya before I ended. Let's give this guy a Nuzleaf, or how about a Routes? Nuzleaf. There we go. Got some for you. Ooh. What do we got, Kitsuna? Oh, that's really good. Yes. 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 Absolutely yes. Yes. Very rushed. Oh, that's really good. That's like perfect. You, you got you got him like you got him you got him I like the flip-flops I like the shorts I like the hair and the face I like the, the the pose it's it's this is great this absolutely captures what I'm looking for this is good this is good yeah this could even be his battle pose I like the hair yeah, I like this. How long until the update? Um, The update's gonna be a long while. What's the speed up button? I don't know if there is a speed up button in Paradox. Um, I'd have to like install the... Uh, uh, what? I think there's a script for it maybe? I'd have to look into it for the Paradox update. But yeah, this, this, is, this is great for Roy. Thank you so much, Katsuna. This is a beaut. We got a beautiful Roy. We got a beautiful Roy and a beautiful, uh... Sasha. For those of you who haven't seen Katsuna's Sasha art, it's pretty dang good. Rage Roy. Hey, what's up? A couple months back, had reset. Oh, are you talking about, uh, Pokemon Paradox? 
Not fast. Yeah, Pokemon Paradox, it goes from, like... It kind of is uncomfortable how dark it goes. I kind of don't like it. That was, like... That was, like, uh... That was me writing a script, like, the day before the game had to be turned in. Which is pretty bad. This 12th session? Yeah, typical jalapeno. This is session 12. And I'm about to end it. Totally lost. Yeah, Rage and Roy, if you go and type exclamation paradox in chat, then it should give you a link to download Pokemon Paradox. But that sucks that you lost it. Make him Roy from Super Smash Bros. Maybe I'll do that as an Easter egg. If somebody can do pixel art of Roy... Uh, well, I mean, he's, he's not from Smash Bros. You know, he's from Fire Emblem. But, like, pixel art of this pose... And then put, and I'll put him in as a trainer also, as an Easter egg. Roy! And his battle theme will be, uh, let me play it. This will be his battle theme when you play him in the Easter egg. It's this theme. This is great. Okay, that was like the most, that was the dumbest five seconds I've ever streamed. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, so I'll put that in. I like that song a lot! I like that song very much. Okay, what was I gonna say? That was hilarious. <laughs> okay, awesome! We gotta take her. <laughs> Maybe I'll put another person running around on the beach, but um, there's Camper Freddy. I think I'll end pretty soon. Let's uh, let's make the uh, opening battle image for our Camper Freddy, and let's test him, and then we can end the stream. Is all the mapping done? All the mapping is not done, but I've made a significant amount of progress. I'd say right now, um, the area where I'm lacking the most might be art, but even then, I'm making a lot of progress on that also, thanks to people helping out with that. Um, but I might be maybe halfway through the mapping? Are they, yeah, I really like the direction you went with this one, Kitsuna. It's it's definitely uh, it's definitely what I wanted for Roy. It, it fits him great. It's really close to the uh, to the overworld sprite, too. It's It's basically perfect. So this will be SM Trainer 33. Boom. Boy tumor. Oh yeah, put it. Uh, well, I do have a boy tuber. I could put a girl tuber. Tuber underscore F. Would I make versus portraits? Maybe that'd be cool to do. Right now, what I'm doing is just doing the sun and moon intros for them. But it'd be nice to do versus portraits for the rivals eventually. Maybe I could add that to the art list. But I'd also have to do versus portraits for the player as well. Tuber duo. Could do a tuber duo. I kind of just want to make it so there's one over there and one over there. It's not a zip file like last time I think open with. Well, RARs and zips are basically the same. The only difference is what you use to open it with. I mean, I guess you can use 7-zip or WinRAR. Uh, WinRAR is free. Hmm. That's weird that it was a zip last time. Can WinRAR can open RARs and 7-zip can open RARs also, right? What was I gonna do? Characters? No. Characters, yeah. I was gonna make one for the tuber F. Where is she? There she is. Does she have dumb sand around her also? I think she does. Damn it. I hate that both the tubers have like stupid little white squares flying around them. Let's take a look. Let's make this really dark so you can see. I don't think I can see them, actually. They'll probably only show up later. So she is trainer 48. Cool. So now I should be able to make a, tra uh, a tuber F over here. And her move route can be a little bit different. She'll move... She'll move right, then one, two, three, four, five down. Let's make it just four down. One, two, three, four. And then left, and then up, one, two, three, four. 
apply. She'll be tuber underscore F. I'm really bad at girls' names, so just make it Jessica? Jessica. This thing can turn pretty cool. Ooh, let's see what we got. Typical jalapeno. Oh, that's pre that is pretty cool. Yeah, modifying existing ones and recoloring them is pretty nice. You can make a lot of cool trainers. That's actually what my guy is in Pokemon Paradox. If you battle me in Pokemon Paradox... I mean, of course I'm a narcissist and had to put myself in my own game. Of course. But if you battle me in Pokemon Paradox, I look like... Where am I? I look like this. So I'm like, part cool trainer. Part others, you know? <laughs> my hair might be a little too long. That's not how long my hair is, IRL. But yeah. What was I gonna do? I keep forgetting what I'm doing. Okay, Tuber F Jessica, that's what I was doing. And let's make Tuber F Jessica's team. She will have... A... She'll have two Pokemon. Let's make one of them... What's that called? The... The turtle one that's like a water fossil... Is... It evolves to Caracosta, I believe? Tortuga. She'll have a Tortuga. I like Tortuga's name. And her other Pokemon should be a good beach Pokemon. Is Paradox open source? Yeah, you can just download it and mess around with it if you want. Um, the RX Proj file is in there. Where I find you and how to get infinite rare candies. I don't think there are infinite rare candies. But uh, if you want to find me, you have to beat the game, get all the legendaries. You don't have to get all the legendaries, you have to encounter all the legendaries. And then you have to beat Red. Uh, in the final, in his house after you've beaten the game. And then I'll show up in space. It's It doesn't sound like it makes sense, but if you've beaten the game then it will make sense. Um, Lombre? Sandcastle-esque? There is a Sandcastle-esque one, but that's in Gen 7. I could just give her a Taylo. Or a Surskit. Or a Meryl. Or a Carvana. Is the house a Battle Arena? I think... Wait, what's the question exactly? Battle Arena? What if he's Explosion? Um, then you have just killed Red and his family. <laughs> Let's give her a Wingle also, I guess. And if I'm giving her a Wingle, maybe I should give her three Pokemon also. Where the last Pokemon can be... Uh, Bidoof, maybe? How about Buizel? I like Buizel. Very nice. So now let's launch our game, and let's try battling our two trainers that we added. Our, our camper and our tuber underscore F. Or our female tuber. And then afterwards, I'll end the stream, because it's almost time for me to go to bed. Betty bye. I gotta get up for work tomorrow. I gotta go test more games, you guys. What a loser I am. Alright. Warp to root one. Nice. So here I am towards the end of route one. If I go up, there's Mount Fuego. Let's save. Yes. So let's see what our camper looks like. What a beautiful boy. Three Pokemon. It's working. It's working just fine. Can you download this game as it is right now? Are you talking about the one I'm making? Um, you could download the one I'm making right now, but I haven't released it yet. I'm, a, I'm gonna release it on August 3rd so people can test it, and it'll be done August 10th. That'll be when I have to finalize my submission. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna release a demo version. Hey there. Yes. Ooh, let me see Katuna. I'll uh I'll open that up real quick. Let me uh test this battle. Okay, that's working. It's working just fine. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, I remember this. I can use these. Um she looks like Ari. I remember talking about this. Yeah, she could be like a swimmer girl on the water. Her hair might be a little too pointy up. But uh yeah, I remember this. That was good.
two minutes out because I need to switch off. And oh yeah, I'll uh just remember August third will be when I'm starting to send everyone a date uh yeah stuff for this. But yeah, I'll also be uploading all my stuff to YouTube. So I'll probably put the download link if you subscribed. I'll also put the uh, download link in the description of my YouTube vids once it's up. But yeah, I think I've made good progress tonight, you guys. Yeah, those were done back when I was working on Title. I remember you sending that to me for Title. Yeah, um, I think I'm good, though. I think I'll end the stream tonight. We made decent progress. I'm gonna make a Pokemon games, Paradox game, and play a Flash. I don't know. Um, that might be too hard to, like, I'd have to remake it almost if I want to, uh, if I wanted to make it a ROM hack instead. Stream good night, dude. All right, good night, but but. Good night, Troxy. Good night, Rage and Roy. Good night, Katsuna. Good night, Typical Jalapeno. And good night, everyone else who's been hanging out with me. I hope you all have good nights. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.